All right, here we are, the third round, the Stanley Cup semifinals. Welcome, everybody, to our series simulation. The game is actually two for three so far in the series that we have simulated. So it's, it's actually doing shockingly well. Now, granted, the game, the number of games has only been predicted correctly once, and that was the Jets' sweep of the Edmonton Oilers. But other than that, though, you know what? The game's picking the right winner more often than not. Literally, more often than not. So what I'm trying to say is this, this right here is very important. This is life-changing stuff right here, this, <laughs> this simulation. I'm just playing, y'all. We're going to have some fun today. We're going to see what NHL 21 thinks is going to happen in the third round between the New York Islanders and the Tampa Bay Lightning. That is going to be an interesting series. It might just end up being a lot of trap hockey, but I, I feel like Tampa is very good strategically, and they, they might be able to break through. It's going to be really interesting to see how it plays out, man. Let's go. Let's launch game number one at Amelie Arena. Tampa Bay having home ice advantage for this series. Let's see what we got in the books for game one. As always, all-star, full sim, seven-minute periods. This is pretty much the most realistic settings according to the game. So we're going to rock with that, man. We are going to rock with it. Let's get game one underway this is, of course, the latest roster, so I'm not I'm not doing any line changes of the any sort. Okay, I'm not intervening in this sim. It's gonna be based on what the roster is uh, is giving us today. All right, let's go. Connor is the first one in here. How's it going, buddy? Thank you for joining the stream. Welcome, welcome. Yes, sir. And land, Landon, land, I, Landy. I'm just gonna call you Landy. I'm sorry. How you doing, man? Everybody in here. Lovely stuff, man. First period of play. Islanders and Tampa Bay. Do we have any predictions, chat? Do we have any predictions for this series? I'm not even sure I have a prediction, to be honest. This is this is wild. This is honestly wild. McNuggets, what's good, buddy? How you doing? How you doing? Austin in here as well. Let's go. Let's go, Abraham. What it is, bro. Yes, sir. I hope everybody's doing fine. Isles in seven. Damn, y'all think it's going seven? I don't think it's going seven. Well, you know what? It might. It very well might go seven. I just think if Tampa can't deal with the system of the Islanders, it's not going to go seven. And if Tampa can deal with the system of the Islanders, it's going to be can the Islanders really, you know, adapt. So it's going to be interesting to see. I don't think it's going seven, but we'll... we'll I guess we'll find out, right? We'll wait and see. Tampa in four. Oh, hell no. Nah. That's that's fake news. That's fake news. <laughs> I don't think so. If Tampa wins in four, bro. <laughs> that would be uh, that would be something. That would be something indeed. Dave, what it is, bro? Welcome back. Welcome to another stream, I should say. How you doing, man? Hope you're doing wonderful. I think Tampa in seven. A lot of Tampa in seven. A lot of... Uh, a lot of Tampa and Isles in seven, so maybe it is going to be a long series. I mean, I think it's going six, but I, I don't know about seven. Oh, the cross crease attempt by the Isles right off the bat. You already know the Islanders can be very opportunistic, man. They can just say, sit back, lay in the weeds. They're kind of like they're kind of like that um, that mission in Call of Duty, that sniper mission with the ghillie suits. You just kind of lie in the weeds and then you sneak around and then when it's your time, it's your time and then you shoot and every everybody dies. That's pretty much how I think of the Islanders. They just kind of do that. They got that play style to them. Tampa getting a few chances though in the sim early. That's that's uh, good news if you're a Bolts fan. And then some okay defense to stop them at the blue line. Doesn't quite stop them though. The one-timer early good chance for the Islanders but it's going to be blocked. Tampa can also play defense, man. A lot of people think they're this offensive super gun team. No, no, no. They can actually play some solid defense when they really buckle down, all right? So it's going to be it's going to be interesting to see who can win that type of series for sure. Oh, want Tampa to win because the Islanders took out the Penguins? That nah, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Mhm. Mm I'm not mad at that. Not at all. Not at all. Kanye, what's up? What it is, bro? 
Welcome to the stream. Vassy, two of them? Two Shaddy? Damn. That's a lot. That's a lot. Oh, two on O. Oh. Jesus, that is easy money. That is very unlike the Islanders. Man, if they're going to allow two on O's <laughs> against Tampa, no way. No shot. If they allow two on O's, it's over. I don't think they will, though. That's uh, that's going to be the first goal for the Bolts. Boom. Funk says, go Islanders. There you go. What do you think of Price versus Flower? I think it's going to be amazing. I think it's going to be good. Now, I also think Price has the edge. I feel like he's more consistent than Flower. But at their peak, both of those goalies are amazing goaltenders. Right? <laughs> what a nice goal. Probably wouldn't happen because it's the Isles. Yeah, that's what we're thinking. That's what we're thinking here at G headquarters. And we'll see if... Tampa Bay can even stretch out their advantage a little bit more. The Islanders have some offensive firepower too. They're not like this 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 team that can't play defense. Sweet Lord, they just gave up another chance already. That was uh that was very unlike the Islanders. I don't know what the hell is going on. I don't know if the game's got the strategies all jacked up, but the Islanders are not having a great defensive performance. Very uncharacteristic. Maybe they're just you know, maybe they're just nervous. You know, they made it to the third round again, and they want to actually do something this time. D-Mac, what's good, bro? What it is? How you doing? KTM also joining the chat. Welcome, welcome. Appreciate you coming through. Islanders in six. Let's go. All right. Okay. Detroit Red Wings. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do a thing with chat. I, I did this with the Jets series, and I want to do it again. In the chat, who are we cheering for in this series? Press 1 for the Islanders and press 2 for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Let me figure out where the chat is sitting. 1 for Islanders, 2 for Lightning. What do we got? Islanders, Islanders, Islanders. Oh, my goodness. Lightning Islanders. Jesus, a lot of people are cheering for the Islanders right now. Wow. There's a couple bolts in there. Okay, it's it's evening out, but mostly, mostly it's Islanders. Okay. Okay, guys. Why? Is it because Tampa won the Stanley Cup recently and the Islanders haven't done shit? Is, is that why? One even though I'm a Leafs fan. Yikes. Yeah, that sucks. Didn't mean to press one. <laughs> nah, I'm an Isles fan. Oh, there you go. There you go. That makes sense. That's kind of cool, though. I like to have... You know, I like to know that my viewers are fans from all over the NHL. Oh, what a save. Let's go, Vassy. Let's go, Vassy. That's your Vesna winner right there. I'm telling you. That man is a problem. That man is a real bad boy. All right. Habs and Isles in the finals. That would be so cool. That would be really cool. But I think Vegas got that. We're... If this does really well, like with, with, you know, watch time and likes and all that stuff, if this simulation does really well, then we're gonna we're gonna hook up the boys with the Habs series as well tomorrow because this series starts tomorrow, but the Habs series doesn't start until Monday. So tomorrow I could have the simulation for the Habs. Oh breakaway! He went for the Forsberg! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, if you get a breakaway chance against the Islanders, you cannot do some fancy shit unless you know you can pull it off. Jesus Christ. Oh, that's a great pass. Here comes Pointer. Another breakaway. Huge save. Man, the Islanders are not on their game here. They're just not. Habs and Tampa in the cup final? That would be... I think that would be a, a bloodbath. I think Montreal gets absolutely demolished by the Bolts. Honestly. 
But we'll see. We'll see. Another offense's own face-off win for Tampa Bay. They, Tampa kind of been controlling pretty much the game so far. It's only game one, but I mean, oh, that's a bad pizza. That's an awful pass. That's the kind of play you have to avoid making against the Islanders because the Islanders are going to immediately make you pay, man. Ooh, good play defensively to stop that from happening, and it's going to lead to a breakaway. Stopped by Varlamov. Friggin' Ryan McDonough with a breakaway. <laughs> G20, do you like pizza? Of course. Of course. Of course I like pizza. Pizza is amazing. Hawk, what it is, bro? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. Kalumpa, also. Welcome to the stream. I've heard never to bet against the Habs. Well, I don't know if they've secured that kind of that kind of clout yet you know tan or the islanders secured that kind of clout in my opinion because they've done it consistently uh sydney crosby has secured that kind of clout but i don't know about the habs i don't know about that varlamov keeping the boys in it right now yeah seriously he is they're allowing way way too many high quality chances which is very unlike the new york islanders but we'll see if they can get their game together. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be tough for Tampa Bay to increase that lead. Oh, see, offensively they're trying to get a shot going. There's there's a good chance one timer wide and out of play. I was looking pretty good for Anthony Beauvillier, but sometimes sometimes a shot doesn't work. You know what I'm saying? Joe, what it is, man? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Welcome. I think the Habs will upset the Golden or surprise the Golden Knights. All you have to do is underestimate Carey. I don't think anybody's underestimating Carey Price. If anything, they're underestimating how actually okay their offense has been. Like it's not been out of this world. It's they've not been a great offensive team, but they've been a little kind of mini Islanders. You know, you give them enough chances, and that the Habs will make you pay. I mean, look at the overtime periods in Round One against Toronto. They didn't, the Leafs really didn't give them much. What a save by Vassy. Jesus Christ. Wow. That is some Vassy plays right there. <laughs> but what I was saying is Toronto didn't give the Habs much in either of those overtime periods. But the second they did, man, the second they gave them a half-decent opportunity, back of the net, GG's, game over. So it's, um, they remind me of the Islanders a lot, except I feel like... The Habs are a little bit behind as far as their development goes offensively because their kids are a little bit younger. But also, I feel like, oh, wow, that is a soft goal. I think that deflected. I think that actually deflected. Is that? <laughs> no. <laughs> Matt Martin with the flow. Look at that. He actually got his hair and everything. That's crazy. Look at this shit. Muffin. <laughs> Fancy, why? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. Interesting. So Vasilevsky goes from making a spread eagle friggin' 10 beller to allowing a muffin from <laughs> Martin. Okay. Oh, another one timer. Huge save by Vasi. Jesus Christ. Josiah, what's up, man? How you doing? <laughs> Nick says greasy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That wouldn't happen. I, I mean, you never know. Not. People are not perfect. It's possible. I'm sure Vasi's allowed some muffins. I'm sure he thinks about muffins he's allowed. And that's the end of the first period. The score is 1-1 one one in Game 1. It's a pretty even series. I, I feel like Tampa might have had a better period overall, but they did allow a really good chance. Vassy bailed them out, and then they allowed a muffin, and Vassy did not. Very did not bail them out. Look at this shit. Yeah, no, that didn't deflect off anything. That just fucking sniped it by Matt Martin. Unbelievable. Okay. This is a public service announcement. 
uh, reminding you that every NHL player is a hundred times better than the best player you've ever played with. <laughs> Holy shit, okay. Here we go with the second period. One to one score. Can Tampa Bay regain the lead? Oh, there's a shot. There's a chance, but it bounces a little bit too high. They're going to regain it. Go for the wrap. Varlamov finding it and holding it together. What pizza do you like? Well, I feel like we'd be here a shorter amount of time if I told you what pizza I didn't like. <laughs> New York Islanders gold in a nutshell. That, yeah, basically, eh? Game six for Bauer allowed muffins. Yeah, happens. It happens, man. Cooch with a chance right there, but he's going to be stopped. Imagine someone seven foot as a goalie. I feel like that would not be useful as a goaltender. Simply because you would have a lot of wasted coverage. Your, your big, like, chest area with your freaking chest protector and all that stuff you would have to bend down significantly to get all of that all of that space under the crossbar because it doesn't matter if you're seven feet if three of those feet are over the crossbar not blocking any part of the net it would help you with things like reaching across with your glove because obviously you'd have some longer arms than most people but i think I think six seven is pretty much the top that where where height is actually going to be a really good tool for a goalie. I'm an Islanders fan. Welcome to the chat, man. Welcome to the chat. What a slap shot! He missed from right there. What kind of tomfoolery is this? What kind of bullshit is this? The Islanders looking to cycle. That's going to be broken up. There you go. Tampa Bay getting in there. Boom on offense, just like that. Up to the left side, Stammer, shockingly making it this far into playoffs without getting hurt. He gets the puck back. He gets hurt, or he gets hit pretty much as soon as he got it. Oh, what a muffin. That is not a Stammer shot. Yikes. What do you think, Luke Hughes goes in the draft? I have no idea. I can't even pretend to have any sort of opinion on that. I have not kept up on any of these young players that are coming into the game. That's just not a thing. Oh, man. Cernak's going to go to the box for tripping. That is uh, not ideal for Tampa. Probably want to avoid that. You know, the Islanders, if you give them a good power play, I'm guessing they'll make you pay. Because that's what they do. Is this game one? Yes, it is. Welcome to the stream. You are just in time. 2 on oh for the Bolts on a shorthanded opportunity. They get stopped. My God. The Isles power play has got to be better than this. They have got to be better than this. If not, it's going to be a long series. Long series. Speaking of long series, that was kind of a long pass. And the Isles have a three on two. Looking for the toe. He still has it. Oh, my goodness. He got through the entire Tampa Bay defense only to be poke checked by Andre Vasilevsky. That's, that's sad. That is really sad. My goodness. Not many of you. I mean, we are just a few minutes into into the, the stream. So, it'll come. It'll come. It's also somewhat early. Ooh, that's a good chance. Nice stop. I'm going to get drunk. Same, bro. Same. <laughs> At some point, for sure. Who would you have on the Oilers, Matthew or Brady? Huh, that is a great question. That is a really good question, man. I don't know. I don't think you can go wrong with either of them. They're both really good. Hmm. One timer for the Bulls. I'm, I'm going to have to think about that one for a little bit. <laughs> Are you going to sim the Stanley Cup? Yes, that's the plan. Whenever we find out which teams are going to make it to the Stanley Cup Finals, we are going to have that simulation. Matter of fact, if this does well enough, you guys spoil me with that like button, then I'm going to do the Habs series tomorrow. He just lost that puck for no reason. Okay. 
Here come the Bolts. Kind of a two-on-one-ish. And that's not going to lead to anything except this somewhat glorious shot. That's butterfly away, though. Nothing crazy. There's a two-on-one for the Isles. You already know what happens. Nope, never mind. They gave it to Barzell, who had a brain aneurysm. Okay. <laughs> All right. Tampa going back-to-back -back wouldn't be so surprising. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, man. They're a real team. They're a really good team. And, and you could argue that, you know, they had the roster to win, like, another Stanley Cup before they did. You know, they, they had the roster. They just didn't do it. So I think, I think Tampa Bay is, is a wagon. And not a lot of people understand just how, how good this team is. Rasha was good. Welcome to the stream, brother. How you doing? Would you rather have McDavid as your teammate or Ovechkin? Hmm. Hmm. I would say Ovechkin. I think McDavid is a better player, but I would say Ovechkin because in real life I'm more of a passer. <laughs> and I'm a right defenseman, so I could feed Ovechkin at the at the dot for huge one timers, and that would be the best. <laughs> I I feel like there's nothing there there's, isn't a better feeling than feeding Ovechkin for a one timer. Man, I would I, so much money I would pay to to have the chance to do that. <laughs> that would be amazing. Has 70 pots of coffee. Mm -hmm. I love coffee so much, man. What team would you want to get drafted by? Buffalo, Seattle, or Anaheim? Man. Shit. I don't really want to get drafted by either of them, to be honest. But if, if I have a choice, if I'm in the interview room and they're telling me one of us is going to draft you, Man, I, I, see, here's the thing with that. A Buffalo is an awful franchise, so I wouldn't want to go there. Seattle is raining all the time. That is shitty weather. Anaheim is great weather, but I don't like warm climates. I like my winter. My Canadian boy, I love my winter. I am a winter person. So... So as far as where to live, I would prefer Buffalo. <laughs> but as far as the team goes, I would probably prefer Seattle at this point. It's And it's not guaranteed that they'll have as good of a, a run as Vegas has had. But they'll, they'll have a decent team. What a shot on the one-timer. Two big saves by Vassy. Let's go. Still a one-to-one -one score. Let's go, Lightning Crown the King. What's up? Welcome to the stream. Thank you for joining us. Isles Girl Three says, "Wish, wish, wish he was still in." Same, same. How you doing? Everybody, welcome to the stream. McDuster eighty eight in this bitch. That's what I'm talking about. Lower part of BC, I could almost, basically almost see champs. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, pretty much. So now, oh, I also have Michael joining the stream. How are you, man? I hope everything is going swimmingly. Like, if you if you dry or, or if you melted the ice on this surface, I hope things are going to the point where you could swim in it. Which, which ironically is, is you wouldn't swim that much because there's really not that much water on the NHL ice surface. But, I mean, it is what it is. It's only like, isn't it like only three inches thick, the ice? It's shockingly thin. It is actually shocking how thin the NHL ice is. What do you think is Seattle cracking get from the Oilers? You know what, man? After the whole Vegas expansion draft I just kind of realized that it doesn't matter <laughs> they're gonna take a player from everybody and you're not gonna like it most most teams are not gonna like it 
So I kind of stopped worrying about it because, I mean, whatever. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. We're going to wait and see. Because you don't know what strategy they're going with, right? You don't know if they're trying to load up at a particular position. You don't know if they're just going for best player available to make some trades. You don't know. You don't know. So I don't, I don't, I don't really think about it. Did you see the Logan and Floyd fight? No way. You couldn't, you couldn't pay me to watch that fight, much less me paying you to watch it. Fuck that. That is bullshit. Why do you have Lee in? Uh, you would have to ask the NHL roster guy, whoever that is. You would have to ask whoever made the current rosters. <laughs> you want Tampa Bay? You got Tampa Bay. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. I like the confidence. 1914, the shots in favor of the Islanders after two periods of play, but it is still 1-1 one one in game one. This is going to be interesting. Logan and Floyd are... I mean, Floyd is just, like, one of the greatest, if not the greatest boxer of all time. He's just got a payday. I don't blame him at all. Matter of fact, I don't blame Logan either. If people are dumb enough to spend however much it was to buy that pay-per-view, why not do it? He just got his ass kicked to get paid and got paid for it like millions of dollars i don't blame either of these gentlemen good for them honestly i'm happy for them i'm not gonna watch it but i'm happy for them make your money bro what it is adam how you doing how you doing just got back from getting my second shot that's what i'm saying how's your arm feel bro is it bad everybody keeps telling me the second shot is awful let me know. Let me know. Who do you think will win the cup this year? Uh, I think one of the four teams remaining has a good chance of doing it. I have no fucking clue. Are you planning on doing a Vegas Montreal matchup? Yes, if this stream gets enough support. Speaking of support, guess who doesn't need it? Braden Point. He'll put your team on the back dough. Two, one, bolts. Actually, he, he did get a pretty nice pass to do it. But I, I ain't judging. I ain't judging. That's a good shot. Braden Point is such an amazing hockey player. I love him so much. He's awesome. Let's go. Big goal for Tampa Bay. Chat is going nuts. I can't even keep up right now. Jesus Christ. Warrior, what's up? Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Braden with the point. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. 2-1 Tampa Bay now. That's bad for the Islanders because they have to open up, which is something they don't really want to do. That was some pretty decent linebacker-looking defense right there. Uh-oh. 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 Kind of an odd man rush. There it is. That's what I'm saying. The Islanders have to open up. So they're going to leave themselves vulnerable here a little bit. That's the key. The key with New York or beating the Islanders is is be ahead. Play ahead. Do not allow the first goal. <laughs> Whatever you do, do not allow the first goal. If, if they want to play this passive-ass hockey, play it with them. Make sure that you get that first goal. Once you do that, don't give it back. <laughs> Just do not give it back. Whatever you do. If you can play ahead for most of the game, you can beat the Islanders. I was like playing from behind. There's not a single team in the world that enjoys being behind in a hockey game. I promise you. Gio, what do you think of Matt Barzell's between the legs goal? If it's the goal that I think you're referring to that happened a couple weeks ago, it was ridiculous. And he's he's a grown ass man. Mr. Blake Barry, is it game one or no? Yes, it is. It is game one. We're in the very first game of this simulation. Tampa ahead with home ice advantage. Islanders looking to, ooh, looking to climb back into the game. That slap shot goes wide. Matt Martin on the rebound, pouncing on that guy, getting it back for his team. But Tampa Bay able to do something with it. Boom. 
out of the zone. Just like that. Let's go, Islanders. What up, Nick? How you doing? Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Thanks you. Thanks you. Yes, thanks you. <laughs> thank you for joining. Everybody that's in here, thank you for joining, man. This is dope. This is dope. I don't know why these always do as well as they do, but God damn it, I am enjoying it, and I thank you for it. Speaking of which, speaking of which, hold on. We are at... 13,254 subscribers. Can we get to 13,300 on this stream? Could we do that? We're only 46 away. We could do it. So if you enjoy the content, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And maybe we can get there. Okay, I'm going to do the halves tomorrow. And whenever we have an answer as to who's making it to the Stanley Cup Finals, we're going to do the Stanley Cup Finals stream as well. As we approach on 150 people watching, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Couldn't we hit that 40 like mark, though? We are at 37 right now. If we can hit that 40 like mark, that would be amazing. Love you all. Love you all. Just subbed and like. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you. Thank you very much, man. Won't let the cap be an excuse, but NHL should look at it. Well, here's the thing. The teams, every team, signed this CBA. They wanted this to be a system. They got it. And most teams are actually using the same system Tampa is to to get the team Tampa has. It's just they're not using it as smartly. You can't be mad. If you're another team, you can't be mad that they're playing above, uh, with the same rules that you are. They're just playing better. You can't really be mad at that. That's a good goal by Steven Stamp goes too. That's a, that was one of the worst turnovers I've seen from the AI this game. And assist by Blake Coleman. There you go. Look at that awful pass. Coleman to Stammer. Geno's. Just like that, the Bolts have a significant lead when you consider who they're playing. And they might have locked up game one early here. Let's go. I'm cheering for the Bolts. I'm not going to lie. If, uh, if I had my say, I would say... Get Tampa Bay in there. Get them in that Stanley Cup final. That would be amazing. Cyber Sword, what it is, man. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Thank you for joining us. Nice snipe. It was. That was a very Steven Stamkos-like shot. I like it. You haven't subscribed for a long time. Yes, you have. I see you in a fair amount of streams. I feel like I've seen you for a, a, a few streams anyway. The captain assisted by Blake Coleman. That's what I'm talking about. And you see Tampa Bay is getting chances here because the Isles have to really open up to get two goals back here. Less than half a period to go in the game. Tampa might have locked this up already. It's not illegal, but it's dirty play. It's not even dirty play. The team asked for this system. It's, it's legit not even dirty. It's just other teams haven't done it. Like, it's not Tampa's fault. Other teams are fucking pussies and they don't want to do it. Not their fault. Well, I mean, we hate the Bruins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. I don't really hate the Bruins that much, to be honest. I don't. Elijah, what it is, man. Thank you for joining the stream. I hope you're having a great day. Hope I can even make it better. Seeing Anders Lee playing sad face. Yeah. That sucks. It's your favorite team. Unfortunately, it's the Oilers who are trash. And my second team is Toronto, who is great. Until it matters, and then they are trash. So it's a it's a friggin' painful existence here. <laughs> Subscribe to see me in pain. Late goings of this period, Tampa Bay's got a three-one lead as they have dominated for the most part in this. I was born in downtown Tampa. That's that's a that's a place right there. That's a place. 
Lol, go Canucks, go. Nice. Nice. Canucks fans in here. I like it. I like it. There's quite a few, y'all. There's quite a few, man. Canucks are underrated for how large their fan base is. Hey, Mark Altuan. How you doing? How you doing, man? I hate the Pens. Ah, I, I actually like the Pens a little bit. I think they're pretty good. I do enjoy it. How can you hate Sidney Crosby? I mean, he is just one of the best players we've ever seen. Sure, he he is a crybaby. That's true. But I mean, when you're a top player, you you kind you kind of have to be, to be honest, because people are gonna people are gonna take advantage of the top players in hockey, and it's uh, you you have to complain a little bit. He does do it to a certain extent that is is not ideal, but it is what it is, man. Did a clean check to Carlos Wilson's prior? Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people don't realize how, oh, that's a goal. That's it. SGGs. That's game one right there. Nice rebound play. Let's go. The aisle 17 score now. The Bolt 17 score. Alex Kalorn in there, and that is that's it. That's the game. Islanders are not making up this comeback. GG's. GG's. Yes, sir. GG's in the chat. I like it. Game one is going to go to the Tampa Bay Lightning, and the Isles are going to need to come up with a huge performance in game two to avoid being down two zip. But you know what? The Islanders, you're good. You're still fine, okay? You came into these two games in Tampa Bay just hoping or trying to split these two games. So you can still, you know, if I'm on the Islanders, I'm thinking we can still accomplish what we meant to do. We can still split the first two games on the road. All we got to do is win game two. And that's a whole fact. Because think about it. They win game two, all of a sudden it's one-to-one. -one. If they do their job at home, they have a freaking massive lead in the series. So it's going to be... Um, it's going to be huge for them. Hey, Phil with a $2 donut. What's good, bro? What's good? Get this man a coffee. That's what I'm saying, bro. Thank you. Thank you. I need my coffee. They already know. You already know. But the Lightning are better away. Lies. Lies. This a team is magically better depending on what arena they're playing in. I don't buy that bullshit. I don't buy that. Home ice advantage is, is real. It's a thing. And sure, some teams or some players might perform better when they don't have the pressure of being at home. But you're still playing the same team. Will you do any giveaway? At some point, I think I might. I, I'm, I'm starting to think about it. Starting to think about it. Like we're we're on the road to 20k. If we can get there, man, I I think I might do something. If we get to that 20k, that would be nice. IHF, no, of course, bro. How you doing? How you doing? Lightning have lost one game away and two games at home in the playoffs. You see, that's what I mean. That's what I mean. It's practically the same amount, right? It is what it is. It's still the same team. But game one is going to go to the Tampa Bay. Le God damn it, team. Y'all had to go offside so I couldn't just do my outro. Shit. Shit. <laughs> Bolt because they're the best. Yeah, <laughs> Phil with another two dollar dono says make it a large. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thanks. <laughs> What's your prediction in the Montreal series? I don't know. I'm not too sure. I think um I think the Habs have a a decent chance at getting this to be honest. Just gonna watch the playoffs and have fun no matter what the outcome is. I'm starting to think that might be the best way to do it. 
because cheering for a team is painful, especially if you're an Oilers and Leafs fan. It just sucks. <laughs> so I think I'm just going to start watching and just being along for the ride and enjoying it, man. Like, when, when the Leafs lost Game 6, I was like, it's a wrap. They're, they're losing the series. Or we're just gonna we're just gonna be okay with it. We're gonna accept it, and we're gonna have fun with it. <laughs> That's pretty much what it is. And an and an NHL superstar stick. Did I hear Austin Matthews? No, you did not, Phil. Thank you for the dono, but you did not hear Austin Matthews. If I'm going to get an NHL superstar stick. From the new ones that they have, I'm a hundred ten percent going with Hellebuck. That's the only goalie stick that they have in this collection so far. You gotta go with the goalie stick, man. You got to. All right, game two. Let's see what we got. Let's see what the game's got in store. Islanders, can you tie this series up? Do we? Do we rock any special? No, not the alternates. Can we rock the reverse retro? Yeah, I like the reverse retro. We're gonna go with that. Boom. Let's go. Let's go. Islanders in seven. Like I said, I don't think the series is going seven. But if it does, I th I think the Islanders could actually pull out the win if they if it goes to seven games. But here we are back at Amelie Arena for game number two. This is huge. It's either going to be a two nothing series lead, or it's going to be right back to even shifting to Long Island. So let's find out, man. Nine sixty six for Andre Vasilevsky in game one. That is massive. That's a great performance, and Varlamov, allowing four goals, had a tough one. So let's see. Hockey Froggy. That's actually kind of a cool name. I like that. Welcome to the stream. Welcome. Who's your favorite Islander? Jordan Eberle. Not even close. Former Oiler. I, I love Jordan Eberle so much. They, sh they never should have got rid of him. Never. What a dumb fucking trade that was. Getting rid of Eberle and, and getting this little back for Hall killed the Oilers. That's what killed it. If Shirelli just fucking left it alone, left the Oilers alone, and just let them grow organically, they'd be in a better spot than they, than they are now. Fucking shitty trades. Shitty, shitty trades. Favorite Ranger. Ooh, that's a... Man, I have so many Rangers I love, honestly, but my favorite... Oh, I don't think I have one, man. It's either Heedle, Panarin, Shisterkin, or Fox. I, I don't think I can make up my mind on only one of those. I freaking love all of the Rangers, man. Well, most of them. Fuck D'Angelo. But I, I love most of the Rangers. Make him stammer. Can he do something? He he got a goal in game, game one. This is game two, by the way, if you're just joining us. Tampa Bay has a 1-0 series lead in this current simulation. It's been huge. And we'll see if the Islanders can respond here as they dump that puck in, looking to engage in their trappy trap game because the game's even. That's when the Islanders can... Oh, there's a turnover. Here come the Isles. They almost made him pay for the turnover. That's that's what you got to avoid as a Tampa Bay Lightning is those dumb turnovers. Look at this. He's one on four. That ain't happening, son. He gets immediately taken away. Look at this. Isles coming back down the ice doesn't work. Okay. They're trying to play that counter play, but Tampa won't let them. There's a chance. Vassy with the blocker. There you go. Favorite Canadian. Hmm. I, right now, it would probably be Cole, Cole Caulfield. Honestly, I think that kid is going to be a monster. Oh, the Islanders with a huge 2 on 0. What a save. Oh, wasted opportunity for the Islanders. But they are getting the bulk of the chances here in the first period of game two. They are kind of dominating here, Tampa Bay. This is this is good to see if you're an Isles fan. All the way to the right side. It's Mr. Colon, the killer, in the corner. He comes back, feeds the point, man. But that slap shot is blocked by Killer. And his ensuing chance also dribbles behind the net because it was missed. But let's see if the Islanders can cut that cycle short. They can cut the pass through the middle short, though. Let's go. All the way to the left side. Here comes Casey Sezikis with a shooting chance. He takes it and it's padded away and deflected into the corner. That was a really nice save by Vasilevsky. Sezikis, underratedly decent offensive player, in my opinion. 
My favorite NHL player is Floyd. Oh, oh, damn. I look down for one second at my chat, and Tampa gets a huge chance. Nice save by Varlamov, though. Ooh, Kaprizov. I like Kaprizov. Real deal, Kirill. Real deal, Kirill. Series score, the Tampa Bay Lightning currently lead the series one games to nothing. This is game two. So we are we are in there, man. We're in there waiting to see if Tampa Bay can take a commanding two-game lead or if the Islanders are going to accomplish their goal and tie the first two games or split the first two games on the road. You think Jake Evans will be back for game one against Vegas? Oh, man. I I don't know, man. It's a concussion. It's tough. It's tough. Concussions can take like two weeks to heal or it can take half a year. It's really, it, there's no way to tell, to be honest with you. People need to stop sleeping on the halves and stop saying we'll be swept everywhere. I don't think people thought they would be swept in uh, in the Jets series. I don't I don't think that was a thing, but I mean, I, I don't think anyone's sleeping on the halves. I think people just think the teams they're going up against are better. Which is true. They've been outmatched in every series as far as talent goes. But things just kind of keep happening. Like, let's not lose track of the fact that the Habs didn't have to play against the best players from every team that they've faced at this point. So it's um, it's not entirely free. Of That's why I say the Habs have some magic going because things just kind of seem to be happening in their favor. You know? You know what I'm saying? Guys are getting suspended. You know, key players are getting hurt. I don't know. It's obviously nothing they're doing. Like, I'm not saying they're actively going out injuring people. That's not what I'm saying at all. What I'm saying is they're getting a few lucky breaks, and they're taking taking advantage of them. You have to give them credit for taking advantage of them, but they are getting a few lucky breaks here and there. Tampa Habs final, Tampa wins? I do think so, yes. Vasilevsky can can duel Carey Price literally all series. Like these two can can keep up keep pace with each other and at that point Tampa's just better up front. Don't bring logic and reasoning into this. <laughs> can only play the team in front of you. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. They, you have to give them credit for taking advantage of the opportunities that they've had, but there's no, there's no denying that they've had a good opportunity in front of them. How will Oliver Wallstrom have an impact on this series? I don't know, dude. <laughs> I think Vegas in seven against Tampa. Ooh. That's interesting. Speaking of Vegas, if y'all kill the like button and we, we we get a few extra subscribers from this stream, we will post the Habs versus Vegas series tomorrow. So you want to make sure that you support this guy if you want to see some more. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I do appreciate every single one of you being out here, though. Have 140 live right now. That's what I'm saying. 66 likes. Let's get it. I appreciate all of you. Two people are having a bad day and left a dislike. I hope that made them feel a little bit better. Here's hoping. Lovely stuff, man. Lovely stuff. And we did gain a significant amount of subscribers. Let's go. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. We're 32 away from reaching our next little milestone here. A Tampa Bay is getting a huge power play chance here. Who are you rooting for to win the cup? Mm. Who am I rooting for? Honestly, I I think I would rather Tampa win it. <laughs> Out of the four teams that are left, I think Tampa might be the one. Even though they already won a, a cup, I think I think I'm rooting for Tampa to be honest with you. Is this the real game? Yes, definitely. 
It it for sure is the real game. Nice shot and a rebound. Two huge saves by Varlamov. Look at his passing play. Oh, Kucherov almost got a huge scoring chance. That's good defense. Isles will win the cup. Nice, nice. <laughs> Most of that, what did you say, Phil? God damn it. <laughs> what the hell did Phil say? Oh, man. The fans are fake. Which fans? Which fans? Notice how the four teams left have a really good goalie. That's right. It is how it. That's how hockey works, man. Hockey is shit happens, also goalies. That's that's literally the definition of hockey. Shit happens, also goalies. <laughs> that should be the definition under the dictionary. Oh, off the iron. There you go. That's a good shooting chance, but nope. Big nope from the iron. You need some iron in your diet, though. So I mean, hopefully Tampa Bay is feeling healthy from that. And. Bailey's trying to push himself across. He does. Man, one on three. Jeez. Jeez. Goalies can win championships. Not entirely by themselves, but they can do like 80% of the work for sure. For sure. This is NHL 21, is it? Is that is that what is that what it is? Is that why I put NHL 21 in the title very clearly? <laughs> pancakes or waffles? Sorry, I can't spell. Um, neither. If I have the choice between pancakes and waffles, I'm having French crepes. Sorry, I know, <laughs> I know it's not a, a choice, but I, I I will take French crepes over both of them things any day of the week. Any day of the week. What time are the Leafs playing? I don't know. They haven't released. I don't think they've released the schedule for next season yet. The four goalies are going to win the con smite. That'd be hilarious. That'd be hilarious. Awesome Jacob. What's up, man? How you doing? I thought this was an HL 20. <laughs> I am anger, says Phil. That's funny. 1950s. No, this is this is Blades of Steel 3D. <laughs> Bla Blades of Steel 16-bit. <laughs> Leafs have a 2.30 p.m. tea time. Thank you, Phil. Thank you, Phil. Second... Is that the second or the first period? I've been having so much fun with chat that I don't even know where the fuck we are in the game. What the hell? All I know is the game's even. Two huge saves by Varlamov. Let's go. Hi, I just subscribed to the channel. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Holy shit. Did you see the shot totals after this period? Yikers. The Islanders are getting their ass kicked right now. Varlamov's keeping them in it, though. That's what you do. When's your next podcast? It's probably going to be either Wednesday or Thursday. We didn't do it this week because uh, Phil had some birthdays to take care of, and I figured, fuck it. I figured, fuck it. We're not gonna, we're not gonna pressure him into doing it. Hashtag fake game. <laughs> I mean, it's it's it is on the most realistic settings that they can uh that the game gives you so and i mean zero zero just starting the second period that's that seems kind of kind of realistic doesn't it phil says i am old now you're not old bro your exact potential you're not even starting to decline on yet you're fine me you're fine happy christmas thank you Thank you. Isn't there some people that celebrate Christmas in the middle of the summer for some reason? Nice start the draw here the zone. Has 
you're 50? God, no. Thank goodness I'm not. I, don't, I do not want to be there right now. Let's, let's not do that. Let's let's avoid that. Oh, my goodness. What a play. He's going to miss the net after that. Come on, man. This man just dangled through like three fucking defenders and missed it. Sheesh. 10 away from 100, boys. Thank you, Phil. I appreciate it. Yes, sir. 10 away. Thoughts on Brandon Saad having a goal streak? Good for him. Good for him. Brandon Saad is a good player. He's an actually good player. I don't know. Like, like, a lot of people really don't like him. Mostly because of certain trades that he was involved in. But Brandon Saad is a decent player. It's kind of the same with Adam Larson, really. Larson is decent. He just shouldn't have been traded for Hall. You know? He's not that bad. He just shouldn't have been traded for Hall. That's all. I gotta go shower. All right, man. That's cool. That's cool. Call me Bagel. That's cool, Bagel. How about Vasi having a thing? I'm not gonna say the word. That was a massive save by Vasilevsky. Holy shit! Wow. Is G20 bias? No. Nah. Is it? Okay. I don't think I'm biased. I think I will tell you I am cheering for a certain team, but I can I'll remain objective in what I'm trying to say. You know, I try to keep an objective perspective, but I, I'm not hiding the fact that I want Tampa to win this series. I ain't hiding it. But shit, if I see some lit stuff happen on the Islanders' side, you better believe I'm gonna get hyped for it. Right? Who do you think will win the Stanley Cup first in the next decade? The Hurricanes or Colorado? Ooh, man. Hmm. I say Colorado. I think Colorado is just because McKinnon, I'm pretty sure there was a thing that said McKinnon was planning on taking less on his next contract again because that crazy motherfucker wants to win so bad. I think you should. I don't think you should take any anything less than like 11 mil. But whatever, it, it's his decision. I want Mexico to win the Stanley Cup. I mean, you know what? Technically, the Stanley Cup is still a Challenge Cup. I don't think that's impossible. I think it's very unlikely, but I don't think it's impossible. Opinion on the Habs? I think they're. I think they got that magic going. One timer goes wide. They got that magic going for them in this uh, in this playoff. So they they are a dangerous team. They're a legitimate team. We got a penalty coming up here as the officials blow the play dead. The Stanley Cup final 2035. Mexico versus Panama. Yeah. Yeah, you can argue for a few seconds, James, I guess, but you already know at this point you're going to sit down. You choose any team to be in the Stanley Cup final. Any team, so not not the teams that are in the are, are possibly going to make the Stanley Cup final this year. Man, any team to be in the Stanley Cup final. I mean, I have to pick the Oilers. But the, you see, the thing is, my heart says pick the Oilers. But my brain says it doesn't matter if you pick the Oilers. They're going to get their ass kicked by whoever the fuck is in the finals with them. Like, they will get absolutely demolished. So it's kind of a waste of a pick. But then, also, it would mean McDavid made it to the Stanley Cup Finals so people can stop blaming him for the Oilers losing. So, hmm. I don't know. Did you see the line if I... I did not. Come on, Pointy, you got to bury that. Yeah, he, he did have a really nice goal in uh, in the last game, though. Tampa leads the series 1-0, by the way, if you're just coming in to the stream. Tampa leads 1-zip. It's game two. Islanders are trying to answer back here. We'll see. We'll see what they can do. Still no score over halfway through game two. You would think this this would be in favor of the Islanders, right? I say by Vassie. 
This is probably the type of game that the Islanders want. If the Oilers made it to the Final Four, there wouldn't be a one-line team. Man, nah. I don't think they're a one-line team. I think they're, I think they have two good lines. The Oilers. They just don't have any consistent goaltending, and they're still making a bunch of stupid young mistakes. And their defense is kind of, kind of, kind of bad, to be honest. They really miss Clefbaum. They really miss him. Everybody talks about all oh, the Tampa did all this shit with the Capper Capper derp derp derp, but realistically, I mean, the Oilers have had Clefbaum on the on the LTIR the whole season as well. So, Bruins Bruins win the Cup next year. I think the Bruins have to make a they have to make a decision here. It might be time. It might be time to start trading some pieces away and shorten up your rebuild time. Because if they if they fully send it with this score and they really, really want to go at getting one last cup, here's the thing. They're not going to win it, and they're going to pay for it in the future. So I think it's time to dump some of those players while they still have a lot of value and get some uh, get some pieces to help the Pasternak, you know, the Pasternak era of the Bruins really go forward. Habs and Bolts in the final? That'd be kind of cool. NHL 21 just puts all the best plays on the top line like the Oilers. The Oilers don't even do that. <laughs> Not even the Oilers do that. Like, they put, a, they put Connor with Leon on the power play, but at 5-on-5, five five, they, they usually split time on their own lines. What a play. Another huge save by Varlamov. Are you kidding me? Wow. Still no goal. It's kind of a goalie duel. I like it. I love it. What up, Louie? Why? How you doing, man? I like that. The posture knock here. I mean, yeah, he's significantly younger than the rest of the core. You got to build around him. You gotta, you gotta cut bait on the older guys and build around him for the future. Who's your favorite player in the NHL? I have so many, dude. I have, I have a lot. <laughs> Can't wait for a team, twenty million over the cap, to win again. Ah, they're not really twenty over the cap. The LTIR raises your cap. That's that's what LTIR does. It raises your cap, so they're not technically over the cap. Because if they'd be over the cap, they would lose. Um, the NHL could forfeit them draft picks, and they could also forfeit them gains. As you know, if your team is over the cap illegally, the NHL can step in and reverse the game scores from the games that you played over the cap. They can actually do that. That's crazy. And the Islanders finally open up the score. There you go. There you go. Vassy needs to stop that, but he didn't. It's 1-0 New York. Can they tie the series at 1? Look at this. Snaheep right off the face-off. That's what I'm talking about. Remember when you raised one at Blackhawks 1 against the Oilers. Yeah, I fucking I told y'all they would lose that series and people, "Oh, it's just one game. You're overreacting." No. No, I wasn't. I really wasn't. I was right on the fucking money with that. Right on the money. Continuing his case for the God Smite, that's what I'm saying. How about Vassy for God Smite? Yeah, it's he's going to have to be a big part of it. That's for sure. If Clefbon doesn't come back to the uh, next year, what do the Oilers do? Replace him. That's that's what they do. They have no other choice. But I I think he'll he'll want to come back. I think. Hopefully, anyway. Takes a shot and puts it right over the 
Imagine playing NHL 21 in broadcast mode. My God, yo, I've done it. I've done it on my Be A Bra. I have a video where I play true broadcast for one video, and it fucking sucks. <laughs> it's awful. Like, even with the the configuration where your, your controls are always... It's awful. But it looks dope. You know, it looks it looks pretty cool. It's just practically unplayable. The difference is, you know, two two K you can actually play on broadcast. It's not as good as playing on the two K cam, but you actually can play on broadcast because of how you know basketball is played. So it's it's kind of fun to play on broadcast on two K, but not on shell, no sir. What if Line goes to the to the Oilers? Eh, nah. I don't I don't think the Oilers need that. I mean, depending on the contract, it could be good for them, but I don't think the Oilers need that to be honest. What do you think the Leafs are going to do with Frederick Anderson? Ooh, I don't think they're bringing him back. Flat out, I don't think he's coming back. End of two periods of play in game two. And we have a one to nothing uh, score for the Islanders who are being outshot. This is typical Islanders hockey. They are being outshot to shit. But they are making the most of their chances. And they're leading one nothing. Barzal in point meet at the face-off circle to start period three and we'll see if Tampa can even up the score maybe push just to overtime or if game two is going to be all Islanders oh two on one right off the bat huge glove save on Braden Point wow Varlamov what a stop Jesus Freddy sucks yeah he's, he hasn't been good for a solid two years now I'm new. Welcome. Welcome to the stream, man. Welcome. Ooh, that shot is... Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Rumor has it Freddy's going to Pittsburgh. Well, yeah, rumors, whatever. I don't I don't really pay attention. Oh, and the Islanders get a second goal. It's Jordan Eberle, who still looks nothing like Jordan Eberle in the game. Let's go. The Isles have a 2 nothing lead. This is pretty much GG's if you're a Bolts fan. I don't... I don't think Tampa Bay is making a two-goal comeback against a defensive team like the Islanders. Jordan Everly, another clutch one. Look at that. Boom, right over the pad. What a passing play. Yeah, that was a nice little give and go. Love to see it. I hope Pittsburgh gets a new goalie. Yeah, they uh, Tristan Jari is probably not going to make it, but I don't think Freddie's the answer there either. Especially for the playoffs. Freddie has a long history of not showing up for the playoffs. So I don't know if uh, that's the answer for the Penguins. Well, here come the Islanders looking to potentially make it a three goal. I mean, man, we were we were at zeros for a long time. But then Islanders just took over. Look at this. Look at this. This is, this is so... New York Islanders, they are keeping these guys to the outside. Oh, never mind. That's a huge chance. What a stop. One-timer blocker it away. There's another one-timer. I think that one went wide, but holy shit. Three quick chances by Tampa Bay, all kept out. It's still 2 nothing. Huge chance back the other way for the Isles, and I think that might be a hook. It's not going to be. Okay. There's a puck battle in the corner, which is won by Tampa Bay. We'll see if they can somehow managed to get a goal. They need a goal before the like the three minute mark so they can pull the goalie and have that six on five advantage actually help them. I don't know though. It's gonna be tough. The Bulls gain control the puck against the wall. Pittsburgh have to get a whole new roster. I I don't know about a whole new roster, but they do need some sort of turnover. I thought they were fine. I thought they were fine. It just Tristan Jari fucking blew it. You know, their goaltending couldn't fucking goaltend. If you can't stop the puck, you can't win hockey games. So I think, I think if if their goalie doesn't turn into a fucking pumpkin for half of that series, they would be fine. 
nobody would be saying this about the Penguins. They'd be saying how Brian Burke really changed things around and blah, blah, blah. But, you know, goalie sucks. When your goalie sucks, you can't win hockey games. <laughs> Pittsburgh should reconsider and move to Kansas City. <laughs> nah, they should go to Saskatoon. Is that where they were supposed to go? I think it was Saskatoon. <laughs> Jari played like a drop-in goalie. Facts. Facts. Guy couldn't stop a beat. Yeah, no, that's exactly what happened. The Penguins roster was fine. They just couldn't fucking get a save, man. That sucks. That really sucks for, for Crosby. Lightning are just too good. Yeah, they're pretty too good right now. But we'll see. Kalorn's in on the four check. And they can't get the puck back. The Islanders just happy. Happy to let them. Yep, dump and chase hockey with one whole four checker for the Islanders. They're going to come back. The Bolts are. They're going to get a chance here with a mini two-on-one. And they do manage to get the puck through. That's stopped by Varlamov. There you go. Steelers suck now. The Pir yeah, the Pirates are always trash. That's just what it is. It is what it is, man. Oh, the one-timer off the face-off. Huge save. Varlamov. Oh my god. Looks like Islanders gonna Islanders, man. They're getting outshot this entire game. And it looks like they're they're potentially gonna win. Okay. They're in on the offense now. Bailey trying to feed the middle. Doesn't work. Vassy stops play. Hmm. Pelican Pulak shut down Crosby. Ah, I mean did a decent job, but it's Crosby. You think you're shutting him down, but really he's just making room for everybody else. Baseball or soccer if you have to play one. Play one, I would say... I would say baseball. If I had to play, not watch, play, I would say baseball. I, I, I don't know why. I just, I think ba baseball is actually kind of fun to play. It sucks to watch, but it's fun to play. Really fun to play. Smith in? Yeah, EA, EA is Rossi. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. That's what I'm saying. My goodness. That's a decent play off the face off, but again, doesn't, doesn't go in. Coleman going down low to the corner. He gets it back. Looking for a one-time. Jesus Christ, that was an awful shot. The Islanders are going to dodge another one. Going to dodge yet another bullet. And it looks like they might counterattack with a slap shot from a sharp angle. Interesting play. It's going to be stopped by Vasilevsky, though. Now there's a big fight for it. And the Bolts take control of it. But there's two guys back for the Islanders. Look at that. Instant running right into defense and that's it the Isles have control of it again yep this is Islanders hockey at its finest at its absolute finest as, as much as it's NHL 21 you gotta you gotta say this game has looked a lot like an actual Islanders versus Bolts game would look like Tampa has actually really caved their face in and really have Provided a solid, solid few opportunities for themselves. But Varlamov's making the saves when he has to. And the Islanders, for the most part, are limiting the quality of those chances. So that's very Islanders of them. And that's going to be a glove save by Vassy. We're going to have to reset the play. As Tampa's running short on time here. Only 6-13 left in the game for them to get that two goal back. It's going to be it's going to be close. We are, Speaking of close... Y'all are killing the subscribe button right now. We are at 13,277. If just a couple more, y'all could hit that subscribe button. We would get the three. Get the 13-3. That would be amazing. But thank you all, man. Thank you all for coming out. Hanging with your boy. We passed 100 likes already. Blown right by it. We're at 108. That's what I'm talking about. Fucking love you guys. Y'all are awesome. 
What if Price went to Edmonton? Then uh, they would only be like a few players short of, of an actual hockey team if Price went to Edmonton. They, they would still need to replace some of their defensemen with better ones, but they would have a, a real team. Oh, what a save again off the faceoff. Varlamov says no today. He does not want to allow anything. My goodness. In the corner, though. Bolts are going to take it back again. They are super aggressive now. That slap shot padded away. And Isles going to regain control of it. It looks like they're going to walk out of game two with a W. Here it is. Four minutes left for them. If they can just kill it off, it's GG's. That's it. That's it. That's, that's the game right there. Jordan Everly. Another one. Two gold night. That's what I'm talking about. That's when I... Somebody asked me earlier in the stream who was my favorite oiler. That man. No, not favorite oiler. Favorite islander. That man right there. Hordan. Eberly. Look at that shit. Snahip. Off the post and in. GG's. That's game. 3 nothing islanders. Wisely playing. You would have to ask the... Um, director who or, or whoever the fuck makes the rosters on EA. You have to ask him. I'm not the proper channels to file that complaint to. Everly with his second huge jobs. Yes, sir. Huge jobs for the Islanders. They're going to tie the series at one. Shifting back to Long Island to see if they can take a commanding 3-1 to one series lead by doing their job at home. We'll see. Game's not finished, though. Job not finished. Still three minutes left. Tampa Bay can make a miraculous comeback. They do need a miracle, but it's possible. So we'll see. We will see. I don't think it's going to happen, though. To be honest, I'm trying to sell the game as much as possible, but I think the Islanders got this shit on lockdown. That's going to be... Pat oh, especially now. Tampa took a penalty. That's a wrap. It's a rappy wrap. They're not scoring no damn three goals now. Hell no. Especially spending two of the last two 20 in the box. No, sir. Two aggressives trying to get the puck back. Bolts are going to sit for two or less. Probably less. If I know my Islanders. Actually, no. They might just hold on to the puck to, to kill as much time as possible here. But that's going to be pretty much GG's. Emily Arena not feeling too good about this one. They are going to get the puck off the faceoff, though. And nothing. Immediate turnovers. Tampa, one goal a minute. Yeah. <laughs> you do that. You get to that point in the game where you start doing the math. You're like, well, it's, if it's one goal every 73 seconds, they could do it. Nope. Not today. Not today. It ain't going to happen. Look at the defense. It's going to be four on four now, though. Okay. Would Edmonton be able to handle Price's contract with uh, with McDavid? Yeah. Why not? Why wouldn't they? Those two contracts don't equal over 81 and a half. They'd be fine. They could do it. A lot of people, when they look at a, a acquiring a certain player or trading a certain player, they just go like, oh, well, the cap space. Nope, can't do it. No, uh, you're actually allowed to move players. You're allowed to, like... You know, make trades and shit. <laughs> so I think they'd be fine. Of course. Shit, the, the Leafs have a, way more players making in that ballpark. And they're still able to ice a roster. So the Oilers would be fine with two over 10 million for sure. That's a decent save. There you go. Would it Vasily to Edmund? Va Vas like Vasilevsky? Vasilevsky to Edmund would be fucking amazing. What is this player movement you speak of? I don't know. It's an urban legend. It says people could get yoded off of teams. Another friggin' penalty. God damn it, EA. Can we just end the game? Shit. It's over, son. Stop. Tripping. Man's got a jab at somebody. Stay. You're up fucking. Okay. It's fine. Tampa Bay's man advantage unit set to go to work on a 
Massey isn't going anywhere. No, I don't think so. I don't think he's going anywhere either. You can't spell it. You know what? Haven't you probably spelled it right? But autocorrect fucked you over. Autocorrect never lets me spell Vassy. It it sucks. It sucks. You have to spell it like three times before it's like, oh, you actually mean to spell this? Yes, yes, I do. Autocorrect. Thank you. Thank you a lot, though. Oh, that man. There's a guy on Tampa Bay. He's been open for years, bro. The Islanders left this man open for the past like 15 seconds, and no one got the puck to him. That fucking blows for Tampa. And they lose game two. And that is a one-to-one -one series. Look at that. The most Islanders game you could possibly think of happened here in game two. And the series is even. We're going to shift the next two games to Nassau or wherever the fuck they're playing. And we'll see what happens. Flurry back to Pittsburgh. That would be amazing. He's UFA this summer, isn't he? Shit, the Oilers might fuck around. No, they're not. They want to re-sign Mike Smith. God damn it, Ken Holland. God damn it. Look at us. Look at this. What the fuck? This is the most Islanders thing. This is the most Islanders thing. Holy shit, this simulation sometimes creates a thing that... That you really, um... It's scary. <laughs> it's scary. 41 to 23, the final shots. Good lord. Good lord. 41 save shutout by Varlamov. Yeah. It's amazing. That's amazing. All right. Game number three. We shift our attention to Nassau Coliseum for game three. You know what? Tampa rock the reverse retro. So we'll, we'll rock the reverse retro, which is... Um, hold on. <laughs> Ready? Whoa, what a difference. That is huge. <laughs> it's a home jersey with a filter on it. We're going to rock the reverse retro for the Islanders for game three. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Corpus Allo to Edmonton. No, not happening. If it weren't for Flurry, I wouldn't like being a goalie. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. All right. Warlamov, 9-39. After allowing four goals in the first game of the series, he has a 9-39. Like, what the fuck? Vasilevsky's also playing well. But, I mean... Gee. We'll see what they got. We'll see what they got for game three. Oh, right. We get to play on that stupid camera angle. I hate the broadcast angle here. It sucks. <laughs> but we'll, we'll have to... Uh, We'll have to deal with it for now. Look at this uncentered bullshit. Wow. That is truly awful. But we're going to play two games here. Probably going to play three games here, to be honest. This series is looking like it might be a little bit long. Now Barzal. We can't even see the point. That sucks. Doesn't matter. He feeds it down low. Islanders looking to take the lead here early in game three and just shut it down from there. That's a muffin. Oh, it was just barely tracked by Vasilevsky, who plays it out. Islanders pick it up. It's a bad play by Vasi to play that. Look at how the game is starting. Islanders, some early, early offense. Look at this. Body check. Tampa struggling to gain the offensive zone. Islanders are loving the way that they're playing. That's a dump in, but it doesn't even get beyond the blue line much. There you go. They're coming back down. Everly, game two hero for the Islanders. He's going to turn it over, though. A little bit of a middle middle of the rank, you know, neutral zone type of game we got going on here early. Uh-oh. It was looking like a good chance for the Bulls, but that's a nice defensive play to stop that from happening. They get right through on a bit of a two-on-one. They go down low. Ooh, that was a good play. It's a great-looking play. Should be stopped by Vassy. Let's go. Okay. This is fast pace here early in game three. This is a teak attempt. It's going to be stopped. And there you go. They're coming right back down the ice. That's a hit. All right. So it's probably going to settle back into um, into a little bit of a neutral zone affair here. That was, a, that was a great start, though. A lot of offense, especially for the Islanders. Oh, there's a chance. It's going to be blockered away. There you go. Marlamov, another good save to start the game. I'm rooting for the Isles, but I'm sure Tampa will win. 
I'm not sure, but I think they are the most likely outcome for sure. They ever shot a gun before in real life? Yes. <laughs> yes, I have. <laughs> what is that question? I don't know, but it, I have. There's another noise save. What do we got for predictions? Do we have a prediction for this game, chat? Nice job tying up his opponent. We're gonna go, but I'll go. I'll be there tomorrow. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If y'all keep supporting this, I will have the Habs series up tomorrow. It's gonna be huge. We are so discussing that. What do you, what do you mean, Phil? It was it was nothing special. It was just a rifle. I shot at a couple targets. It was it was really not that. <laughs> it was not that bad. <laughs> Four three Islanders. Wow. Four one Islanders. Okay. Tampa's gonna win seven thousand to zero. I'll hold you to that. If that doesn't happen, you you lose. I don't know what you lose, but you, but, but you'll lose it. Be ready. But put your money where your mouth is. Shit. No, I'm <laughs> it's going to be a penalty for the Islanders. Tampa's going to get a chance to take the lead here, which is key against this team. Isles go to the cup in game six. All right. All right. We'll see. I think, I think it's kind of likely. Uh-oh. Uh oh, Tampa! Two chances! Two saves. Varlamov keeping the streak alive, man. He is stopping mucho pucks right now. A lot of them. Boku saves. Boku to save. Tampa four, Isles two. Okay, okay. That's decent. Four on five. The Isles are looking for some sort of offensive play. It doesn't quite work. Uh oh, back to the middle. And that's a trip. Yeah, they're going to go down two men. Five on three for Tampa Bay. You have to score here. You have to score. What's the score of the series? It's tied one to one. That was uh, that was a pretty bad penalty. Two hundred feet from your own net. Not good enough. Tampa Bay winning the face off. Huge chance right off the bat. A one timer's blocking away again. Marlamov having a great performance. That's going to be hit. Uh oh. Oh, they're going to allow a breakaway three on five? Come on. They, they, they're they going to come back, but that was looking like an awful play by the Bolts. Sweet G. I was going to say, there's no way that's not offside. It is. When was the last time that the Leafs made the conference finals? Wasn't it 2004? 2001, 2002. Thank you, Phil. Thank you, Phil. You're right. Stupid artist, Irby. I, and I mean, the funny thing is a lot of people chirp the Leafs for not making it to the conference finals since 2002. And they don't realize that there's a lot of teams that haven't even made it there. <laughs> like, at all. So that's kind of funny. How many, how many sticks do you have at your place? Oh shit! Um, I think I have five. I think four or five. I'm not a hundred percent sure. I only really use two though, but I have a couple of, uh, you know, emergency backups. Pretty sure I still have my old goalie stick too. Back when I played goalie. I hate how the AI will just stop and turn on the right. Yeah, me too, man. That sucks. I think they're trying to they're trying to emulate people power cutting to the inside. Another penalty. Good lord. They're trying to emulate people power cutting to the inside on break-in plays, but it sucks. They they really don't do it well. There's another fucking penalty. Pelic again. There's a hook. And, man, they are throwing this game away here, but Tampa is not taking advantage of it. Like, what the fuck, guys? Oh, 
Matt Martin to the bench. Go dye your hair. <laughs> Don't say we, you're not part of the team. That is such a load of bullshit. It's literally just used to make sure that people know which team you're talking about. People use it so that, you know, the people they're talking to understand that they're talking about their home team that they support as opposed to the other team. That's literally all people use it for. The whole don't say we shit is is garbage. That pass doesn't go. Nice puck check inside the attacking zone. Can't hang on after that hit. He was locked in there. That's another nice hit. Man, Tampa needs this goal. Score, man. They are gifting it to you. They've been on the penalty kill for friggin' hours by now. Friggin' score already. Marlamovs is just huge by now, though. What's this series? It is tied one to one. Is one to one. By the way, welcome, Jackal. How you doing, man? Welcome back to another stream. I, I think you're like on a streak of making it to the stream for like four consecutive times. Unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Back at the point. Tampa Bay. Oh, the passes. This might be it. No, it's not. Blocked away. They're on the four check, though. They got it back to the middle. Another save. Man, Varlamov is locked in, eh? They just, he will not allow anything. Slap shot. It's going to be stopped. Sheesh. This man is out here. I love your channel. You're an Oilers fan like me. Yeah, we can suffer together, man. <laughs> we suffer together. At least fan, it was t devastating when we lost. Yeah, it, it sucked. It really sucked. Oh, there's a good drop pass in Eberle with another good chance. This man is getting fed by Barzal, but, yo, he's a sniper with a great shot. That's a turnover. But they retrieve it, dropping it, and then back across. It doesn't work. The Isles killed off this penalty. Man, Tampa Bay is going to really be upset if they the Islanders get the first goal here. Because they've had so many opportunities to get it. And they just haven't done shit with it. That's a good poke check at the blue line. You make my day every time. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. 24, what's good? How are you, man? Jones over Marner? I don't know that. I don't know about that. Maybe, may, I mean, I guess in the playoffs, sure. Yeah, why not? Eberle's first goals in, in Edmonton was sick. Yo, I remember watching that game. I remember. It's amazing. It was such a nice, it was, it was a Saturday night too. Like, it was beautiful. Amazing goal. I play Super Mario Bros. on the Wii is pretty fun. Yeah, man. Mario games are pretty good. They're always... There's not a whole lot of bad Mario games out there. I think there's like one or two. That's about it. Yeah, we talked. To, I talked about it with Phil uh, a couple days ago. I get into many fights while playing NHL 21. Yeah, there's there's too many. They, ha they have to tone them down a little bit, I think. I'm also a Colorado fan, so when both teams lost, I wanted to break my TV. Same, bro. Same. When the when the Oilers and the Leafs lost, I was like, man, we suck. We 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 just suck, man. It is this this is brutal. <laughs> Seawick, what it is, man? How you doing? That's when I play ten a game. <laughs> All right, so it looks like the first period of game three with the series tied one to one. 
is going to be even. And if you're an Islanders player, you got to think that you won this period. Because you gave Tampa Bay so many, so many power play chances and they did not score. Tampa Bay has got to be furious about that. No score after one. Need to know if the thing when you hit someone, yeah, when when it's just like you're thrown into a fight for no fucking reason, yeah, they need to nerf that big time. I love when the Leafs lose. The memes are always so good. Man, I feel like the memes are boring. Like people have zero creativity, absolutely none, with Leafs memes anymore. I, it's, it's people, it's always the same, you know, three punchlines. It's like people don't know what the fuck to say anymore. Which I don't blame them. I'm just saying it, it's kind of boring. It's not even funny anymore. We're still in the early stages of this period. Still no score in this one. The Bulls take possession off the face. Oilers need to bring Gretzky's times again? I, I doubt it. I doubt it. I don't think you can. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. On a delayed penalty, the Islanders with a chance. Blocked by their own goddamn player. And there's a chance for the Islanders this time. You knew it was coming. Even up calls. They're a thing. It's going to be interesting to see if they can get a goal on their one pe penalty that they're drawing. If Matthews and Marner showed up, Leafs in five. Yeah, seriously. Or or six at the worst. If those two showed up even a little bit, it would have been better. Gets the Leafs fans angry, so it's worth it. I don't think it gets them angry anymore. I think people are just disappointed. Like, they see your, your same 67, and it's like, oh, wow, I've never seen that before. That's great. <laughs> So I don't even think, I mean, sure, there's there's younger Leafs fans that you'll get pissed off, but most, like, grown-ass men are like, oh, okay, cool. They just kind of, they're not mad, they're disappointed, you know? <laughs> How's Tavares doing? I think he's okay. I think he's better now. Like, apparently, I read somewhere... I'm not 100% sure it was CJ, but I think it was CJ. I read somewhere that he was going to come back for round two. So I think he's fine, which is just amazing. It might not have been CJ, though. I might I might be talking out of my ass, but I, I think it was. So don't quote me on it. Oh, huge chance for the Isles. They can't score. Eighty-five percent of the fan base is just apathetic. That's pretty much, yeah, that's pretty much the... Uh, the state of the union here. Marner doesn't have any value in the playoffs. Ah. I don't know if he has no value. He's still a good penalty killer, but he definitely has to figure out his offensive game. He has to, to figure out how to adjust it to the playoff style. If he does that, he'll he'll be right back to being a really good player. Montreal so underrated. They built a, s a sneaky, very good team. I don't, I don't know if I'd say very good, but they built a good team that just so happens that they didn't have to play top centers for the first two rounds. So it's it's good for them. It's good for them. But they are a good team. I think Caulfield is a friggin' X factor. That's a great save. So we'll have to wait and see. What's the series? The series is tied one to one after the first two games. And Varlamov is just uh, on a streak right now. He is not allowing goals at all. People forget they're only 23, 24. There's still time. I think that's a little overrated. You should have your shit figured out. You, you should have, you know, your your performance 
figured out as a pro athlete around 24. Like that, I feel like that's uh, at some point they're not young anymore. You know what I mean? Like fucking Matthews was in the league as a teenager. Marner was in there like at 20, I think. 20. Like he, they have experience. They have literally hundreds of games in the NHL. They should have figured this out by now. So you give him one more chance. Tavares went to the morning skate before the first round ended. Yes, he did. He did. It was uh, just him and coaches, but he did go to the morning skate. So that's pretty good. Oh, God. That was looking like a hard shot. I don't know what, how the hell that missed, but it did. Uh-oh. I was coming back. They literally just skated into defense. This AI is awful. The AI is awful, but here comes Braden Point. He's not awful. Matter of fact, he's going to D. Oh, what a play. Another humongous save. Varlamov is a grown man right now. He's just stopping everything. Jesus. Montreal's okay, but they shouldn't be here if they were in the Atlantic. I don't know. You'll never know. You can only play the team in front of you. You never know, man. If... if uh, the season would have been normal. Maybe someone would have got hurt in the Atlantic and it would have shifted the balance. You never know. You never know. How's your day going so far? It's going great, man. Thank you. Having a, having a good time. I woke up with a pretty brutal headache, but it's gone now. Had a coffee. Had some uh, Tylenol. It's all nice and gone, so I'm having a good time, man. Thank you. I'm back. Are you in game four now? No, game three. Game number three. That's a huge hit. Holy shit. And it's still no score. Halfway through game three. This is, a, this is about what I was expecting from these teams, honestly. So the, the simulation might not be that wrong. You know, it might be somewhat accurate. At the aisles in seven. Yeah, I've seen that a couple times in uh, in the chat earlier. It's a good blocker save. Let's go. What's the series like? It's It's been pretty... Game one was kind of an outlier, I guess. There, there were a few more goals, but other than that, it's been defensive and goalie duel pretty much the entire way. So that's about what you'd expect, you know. It's favoring the Islanders. But to be honest, Tampa Bay should have won. Well, played well enough to win game two. They outshot the Isles 41-23. to 23. Oh, there's a breakaway. We'll see. No, says Varlamov again with another monster save. You got to be kidding me. The Islanders are peak Islanders right now. And they're about to get a chance back the other way on a three-on-two. They get a one-timer. And Vassy responds with a save of his own. Holy shit. Ever since the island or ever since Tavares left the Islanders, they've been on fire. Yeah, they've they've kinda developed a really good identity. It's it would be interesting to see what they could do with this kind of team that actually gives a shit and Tavares. That would be a formidable ass team. It would be amazing. They would have a deadly one-two center spot. But nope. Nope. Who's winning the series? I, I at this point I, I'm starting to think it's gonna be the Islanders. I think. If it was live, it would have gone in. No, we are live. We are live. We're doing this live on the stream with all the beautiful people in the chat. Oh, coming in. Oh, drop that. Drop that to the point. Oh, that one timer was blocked. That is, that hurts. That is a hard shot. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. There's a turnover. Chance. Blockered by Vasilevsky. Another chance for the Isles. This one gloved by Vassy. And it's going to be back the other way for Tampa Bay. Islanders actually generating a fair amount of chances here in this game three. Holy moly. 
up the ice into the offensive end again. Oh, what a pass. What a feed. Another glove save. Goalie duel is official now. Holy moly. Where would you go if there was a zombie apocalypse? Uh, Northern Ontario. I think scientifically there is a spot in Ontario that is pretty good. You would have to go north if there's a zombie apocalypse because you would want to be in a climate where it's cold enough that you will not have any mosquitoes and shit transmit whatever virus is going around to you. So you have a, to have a really cold climate. But at the same time, it has to be a climate that's favorable to growing fruit and stuff. So you could actually, you know, eat. Unless you have equipment to hunt, in which case, you know, go hunt some some deer or whatever. It's going to be, uh, it, it really depends on what you see, but you definitely should go north where mosquitoes are not present. Or as, as, as rare as possible. I'd be going to Alaska. That's, yeah, it could work. Could work. This is football now. <laughs> Animals could get infected. Yes, they could, but it would be less likely up north. You got territories. Yep. It's because you have to find the right balance where there's animals to feed, to feed off from, uh, where you can actually grow shit to eat, and where there's water. You know, you also need clean water. So it'd be tough. They said at the least made it, Tavares could have returned in time for round two. That's what I was saying earlier. And after two periods of play, 20-14, to 14, the Islanders getting outshot again. But it's a 0-0 zero, zero score again. All right, here we go. Third period of hockey. It is time. Oh, Everly got a huge chance. He opted to pass it back at the point. And Vasilevsky is going to absorb that one into his chest protector. The Idlers looking to start the third with a quick goal. That would be ideal for them. Who do you got, Habs or Vegas? I really don't know. I think I think Vegas is overwhelmingly the favorite, but the Habs got that magic, man. Uh oh, uh oh. I thought I thought that snuck through. I thought it snuck through the goaltender, but it didn't. Is 20? I, oh, hell no. I am not 20. Don't, don't put that on me. No. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. no, no. I'm not up there yet. Not that far, but I'm not up there yet. Keep it nice and, and, and cool. I still got that medium elite potential, you know. Still rocket, still going up. We're fine. Uh-oh. Oh, the one-timer. Huge save. It's loose. And the Isles recover it. They dodge another bullet. Jordan Everly heads up the ice. Tries to fight Victor Hedman. That's never a great idea. But Everly might get it. Oh, my God. He actually won the puck battle against Victor Hedman. That's huge. That's huge. Can he keep possession of it? Yes, they can. Puck support is massive for the Isles. The cross-crease attempts stop. By the D, the Islanders just can't find that one goal that they need to have the lead here. But if they find it, you got to think it's going to be a pretty big moment for them. All the way to the right side, it's Nelson back to the middle. It's flat, or padded away by Vasilevsky. Tampa taking it down the other side, and they can't get across that blue line, man. Very Islanders. Very Islanders, man. This is huge. And you're 21? No, I am not. Uh, absolutely not. Not the dirty Islanders or the aging lightning. Aging lightning? Aging lightning? I don't know where that came from. 
They have some old players, but they have like they have a balance. They have a really good balance. Are injuries on? Yes, they are on. They can't get injured. Now here come the Bolts with a chance. Another huge save. Holy moly. Back at a point. D to D. Again, D to D once more. That was an awful play. It's going to be a counter by the Islanders. Huge chance. Two on one. Stopped by Vessi. The rebound scores. The Islanders finally break through in the most Islanders way possible. It's 1-0 New York. Jean-Gabriel Peugeot does it again with another clutch goal. Look at that. Oh, Vasilevsky just lost control of that one. He was going to control that rebound, but it just squeaked loose. And that is the first goal of the game in the third period of game three. Looks like the Islanders are on the way to potentially having a 2-1 to -one series lead if they can win this game. I need to see Carey Price win a cup. That would be that would be fun. He deserves it for sure. What a way to break the ice. That's what I'm talking about, man. Solid defense. Instant offensive conversion. Huge Genos. It was amazing. Let's go. Very Islanders. Oh. Oh, here we go. To the middle. Again, a breakaway. He stopped just barely. But barely counts. The Islanders retain possession. The one-timer is saved. And Vasilevsky's keeping Tampa Bay alive. But can they break through the absolute vault door that has been Semyon Varlamov? We're about to find out. Smith's going to trade it over. Are they going to head back up the ice? They might dump it in here. Yeah. Islanders. They are in full Islanders mode now. They're dumping it in. Dump and chase with very few chasers. Because... They're trying to hold on to this one goal lead. Man, Tampa back from behind the net at the point. The D to D pass was open. They opted for the sidewall play. It didn't quite work, but they still have possession. A few passes later, Varlamov has to make a save, but of course he does because he's Simeon Volomov. And he don't give a fuck about your feelings. He's stopping the puck. That's what he's been doing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, here come the bolts. They might get a chance here. And it looks like they're being kept to the outside quite nicely. Yep, there you go. Easy money. I want McDavid to win a cup. Same, bro. Same. He's also... Oh, a player that should win a cup. What a glove. This pineapple belong up. Why does everybody ask this on the stream? <laughs> You can't you can't stream for more than an hour without someone asking about pineapple on pizza. The answer is you can put whatever the fuck you want on pizza. It's food. As long as it feeds you, that it's it's accomplishing its purpose. What do you think Sid's gonna retire? I don't know, brother. He's still he's still going strong. I don't even think we should be into this conversation right now. He's still one of the top players in the league, so. Oh! <laughs> Lightning are even dirtier. Ah. They can play physical. I don't know about dirty for the Lightning, though. Or tough but not dirty. That's what I'm saying. Oh, and they break through. As I'm reading chat, Alex Kalorn with his second of the series ties the game, and we are right back to even. Man, that I think it was like almost seven periods where Varlamov hasn't allowed a goal. This man's been on fire, and he allows this one off a faceoff play. And Tampa's run that one timer play a few times. This time, they scored. Killer, doing it again. Nice play. Now it's right back to even, one to one. And there's a penalty coming to the Islanders. 
If the Bolts are going to score a power play goal, it has to be now. They need this chance. The Islanders are gifting it to them. Look at this. Right off the face up. That's a, that's a terrible play. That's just awful. Bailey's going to sit down. Shaming the Dark Visor crew out here. And here we go. Power play bolts. They win the face off. Edmonton to the right. They score immediately. And in a few seconds, not even a minute, Tampa completely flips the game on its head. It's Kucherov from Hedman. My goodness. There's only so many times you can play with fire, and the Islanders have taken way too many penalties this game. They finally paid for it. Look at that. Quick. Boom. 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 Genos. Yep. We're really bringing a slash from a year away or a year ago to say that a team is dirty today? Jesus. That's how you know they're not that dirty. That's how you know. Here we go. Now, the Islanders have to play offense. They sat back on Varlamov for the two games, basically, and now they have to... They have to open up a little bit see if they can tie this game because if they if they don't and they lose the first game at home it's not going to be good for them we'll have to wait and see how it shapes out okay here come the aisles to their middle Oof. Mm -mm. that ain't it that ain't it it's not gonna work easy play for the bulls to intercept now the islanders are gonna pick it back up you gotta think at some point they gotta stop taking penalties man they have to they keep doing that it's only so often you can do it where Tampa is not going to make you pay. All right. This man is a one-man show out here. To the, oh, the point. That was a great save by Vasilevsky here. Oh, they're going to get it back. Trying to sneak through on the short side post, but Vasi seals it. There you go. And Tampa's going up the ice. Oh, my goodness. Oh, they're going to get through. Another huge save by Varlamov. The rebound stopped. Another rebound. Another opportunity miss for Tampa Bay that would have been a two goal lead instead it's still one there's three and a half minutes left in the game as they dump it in you think Sid will ever leave Pittsburgh I don't there's no incentive for him to none he's already won a Stanley Cup he's, he's won multiple Stanley Cups I think he secures his legacy and just stays in Pittsburgh no matter what happens you know, unless he wants to, I don't know, go play with another team, but I, I doubt it. I highly doubt it. And, I mean, if he's going anywhere, we all know he's going to Toronto. So, you probably want him to stay in Pittsburgh. Uh-oh. Oh, that was looking good. Barzell must hate his life. <laughs> right now, he's not a big fan of it, I'll tell you that. Marshawn has bitten three people. I guarantee you Marshawn has bitten more than three people. Barzell attempting to win a faceoff. Can't do it, though. Tampa Bay's coming back down the ice. Looking to make it a two-goal lead to officially GG's this game. Uh-oh. They might. No, they don't. Easy stop. My my lava. Why does Barzell hate his life? Ah, uh, because he, he's a really offensive, offensively gifted guy on a team that doesn't really let him play offense. And since he's the only one that's by far and away an elite player on that team, he gets abused day in and day out by everybody else. So I think I think that would be a reason, you know. Getting into the later stages of this period. Sid would go to the Habs. I doubt it. Highly doubt it. The Islanders get a hold of the puck in their own end. Got to make it in your opinion, most dirty team list. Ah. The thing is, there, there aren't even that many actually dirty teams in the NHL. Like, there really aren't. Like, it's, if you've seen, oh my God, they're just going to let him walk right in. 
It's going to be missed. Jesus. If you've seen hockey prior to, like, the reform, you realize there are, really aren't that many dirty teams. <laughs> if, if any. The Islanders with a chance. Huge stop. Oh, my Lord. Oh. Oh, there's a Matt Martin with the dangles. What the fuck? He's going to pick up his own rebound, too. Somebody go help him. They don't. They don't send enough four checkers in Tampa. Regains control of the biscuit. They have to get somebody on him. There you go. That's a huge hit. And that is going to be too late. Tampa Bay takes home huge jobs for game number three. They have a 2-1 series lead with a chance to take a 3-1 lead on the road. If they do it, they're going back to Amelie Arena with a chance to close it out. So the Islanders really need game four is what I'm saying. Great performance by Vasilevsky and Varlamov, but way too many penalties taken by the Islanders. And that's the result right there. Boom, boom. Kucherov, easy money. I, I am not underselling anybody on the Islanders. They are not even close to Barzell. Not even close. They're solid players. They are not superstars. <laughs> We're acting like fucking Pelic is it is it on the same level as Barzell out here. That is wild. That is wild. Tampa should be up 3-0, just saying. Hmm? Should be and is are two very different things. They gotta take care of business. And now they're up two to one. So here comes game four. Islanders need this one. We're going to computer versus computer, of course, on the most realistic settings that you can have. And here we go. I feel like game four Paul could do something. Maybe. I love you. Thanks, man. Me too. Me too. Here we go. Andre Vasilevsky has played amazing, and so has Varlamov. Two goalies with some great performances here in round three. And here comes game four. Can we? Will we see the Islanders answer back? Or will Tampa take a commanding lead? A lot of people in my chat said Islands in seven. I said it wasn't going to go seven this series. We're about to find out what EA thinks here is going to happen in game four. Tampa Bay. Oh, my God. That's a huge hit on Kucherov. Is he okay? He is. Injuries are on, so he could have got hurt from that. Marzell's going to turn it over at the blue line. Oh, my goodness. All the way to the left side. There's a chance immediately, and it's going to be easily gloved away. All right. Sounds like you run an anti St. Jackson State account. <laughs> oh, how can you how can you detest Zajac like that? Andersley is a former 40 goal scorer. I think Andersley is a former rebounder for John Tavares more than anything, but yes. The Lightning are the best. I mean, on paper, you would think so, yeah? You would. But it ain't about on paper, as the Maple Leafs know. It's about actually showing up. We'll see what the Islanders do here in game four. Oh. There's Bo oh, my God. That's going to go wide. That was a huge chance, and Tampa's going to start the parade to the penalty box. And we'll see if the Islanders can take advantage of an early power play. Forty goals is forty goals. Oh yeah, no, I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm saying it's not due to his ability. There's a difference. There's a difference between being a fifty goal scorer because you're Alex Ovechkin and being a fifty goal scorer because you're Jonathan Chichu, you know? Huge difference. Imagine your last name starting with a Z. Zajac, there's Zboro, there's uh, Zuccarello? There's... I mean, I mean, it's not his last name, but Zdeno Chara starts with a Z. Um, 
Damn, I'm trying to I'm trying to think of uh, of names that start with a Z, and I I can't really do it. There's not that many of them. Oh, Zykov, yes. Zatkov is also a guy. What's the series score? Oh, the game score is one nothing. Early goal for this game. A little bit of a change on this one. Is it Peugeot again? It is Jean Gabriel Peugeot with another big playoff goal. Opens the scoring for the Islanders. They have a one goal lead here in game four. That's huge. That is huge. GG's chat says GG's in the first spear. That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> It really feels like that when it's the Islanders, eh? It really do feel like that. We'll see. New York's got a quick goal early in this first period, and with it, a different energy in this crowd. Everybody gets wrapped up a little bit. You score early, you hope you can. Now you have, you will get another. In the simulation, yes, it is 2 1 Lightning, indeed. The series is 2 to 1. Islanders looking to tie it up to have an all-important game five. Let's see if they can do it. Make an Instagram account. No way. I'm not doing that. Oh, GG for a good goal. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Vasilevsky's best goalie? I, I think he is in, in, the best goalie in the NHL right now. I, I would have to agree with that. Big time. Your girlfriend says hi. Well, hi. Hope she's doing fantastic. Hope everybody here is doing fantastic as a matter of fact. What game of the series is this? This is game number four. Numero cuatro. Numero cuatro. We are in here. All right. Those are all. Those are all the languages I can I can muster up. I I can't. <laughs> Don't ask for another one. <laughs> what about a Facebook account? Man, ain't nobody have Facebook. I ain't have Facebook since fucking. I think my fresh or. Er, Junior, maybe? No, sophomore year in high school. Oh, there's another chance. And it's going to be Matt Martin with his second of the series. He doesn't even look happy about it. He's just like, yeah, I'm Matt Martin, bitch. There you go. Look at that. Just go to the goal. Boom. Two nothing Islanders. Matthew Gregory Martin with a huge goal. <laughs> Matty is the GOAT, best player in the league. <laughs> I, I love those kind of players that have that kind of, that kind of following. Next Martin goal will be a Michigan brother. I might go streaking if Matt Martin gets a Michigan in this game. <laughs> Not to cheat you. Got carried by Thornton. Thank you, chat. <laughs> Fully, this was reality. Tampa in five. Man, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. What do you think? The Isles best player. Oh, my God. It's Barzell. It's not even close. Not even close. Clutterbuck is the one you're most scared of. What the hell? I don't know about that. He's decent, but... Oh, that's a great chance. What the hell? What is Varlamov on right now? Sweet mother of God. I said five or six. Read the whole comment next time. Jesus Christ, bud. I am sorry. I'm trying to interact with so many people. <laughs> oh, man. I'm in Slovakia. That's dope. That's dope. Lee is second best, probably. Ah. 
I don't know if I'd put Lee there, but maybe, maybe. He's he's close for sure. Oh my goodness, they actually scored. Holy shit, never mind. I was reading chat. LOL. Tampa got a weird one. Just from the commentary that I heard in my ear holes, I feel like Sarali just got a weird one. What happened? What happened? Oof. That is rough. That is rough. What the hell? Look at this. He stops the original one. It just kind of bounces weirdly. Yikes. Okay. Varlamov gets that, though. He gets the benefit of the doubt. He's been so good this series. Leo Komarov is the best. Hey, that is former All-Star Leo Komarov. All right? Never forget. Leo Komarov is an All-Star. Shoot that? He's not going to. Two to one lead now. Tampa needed to answer that goal really quick, and they have. New York's got it in their own zone. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Bud Light or Bud Weiser? Gross. Neither of them, honestly. I, I don't like either of those. Give me that Miller anytime. If we're going with that kind of beard, you know. Oh, barely got got kind of smoked there. Favorite NHL game? I really, really like NHL 06. 06, 09, 94 is a classic. 2004 is amazing. Those are the goats, man. Vegas have no fans? Or Montreal has no fans? Oh, I mean in the building? I never forget that 2,500 is going to feel like 25,000. Swear to God. I uh, swear to God. It will feel like 25,000. <laughs> no, but I feel like when you get to this point in the playoffs, fans are, are not going to... Ah, that's, that's a lie. Home ice advantage is a thing. But I just feel like Montreal going to a full-ass building, they're going to get as big of a boost as the home team. Simply because they haven't been in a full barn for such a long time that I think they're going to get a massive boost just from that alone. Hey, Abraham, how you doing, man? My favorite NHL is 09 Fight Me. Oh, that's a great game, dude. It's one of my favorites, too. That's a great goal. Braden Point. I think that's his second or third in the series. Not too sure. But he's going to score. And Tampa ties the game. There you go. Right back. Right back to square one with this game. Same bro, Craig Simpson. <laughs> They had a few thousand, right? Yeah, they did. They had 2,500, so 2,500. Montreal did. Vegas in five. Whoa. Tampa in seven. You know what's crazy is on paper, Vegas in five isn't even that wrong. Like, it's not even that outrageous to, to suggest but the thing is mm, 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 mm. the hams have that magic and they have carry price that's all you need sometimes that's all you need but then again the when the coyotes were riding the mike smith run it did also stop in the third round so maybe it stops in the third round for the Habs as well just saying just saying If Tampa wins, they'll win it early. I think I agree with that. Because if if the Islanders can establish their style and it works against Tampa, I think going to seven games is only going to... Like, the deeper the series goes, the more it favors the Islanders, in my opinion. Of course, injuries and shit can change that. Whatever happens, happens. But I think if it's going to be a short series, Tampa wins. If it's going to be a long series, I think, I think the Islanders might win. Here comes Everly. 
It's going across. Probably should have shot that, Jordan. I'm not going to lie to you. Abs, you have you have an amazing shot. You need to you need to take advantage of it. My goodness. Right along to the keg sign. The Bolts win the puck back. Shout out to the keg. Wonderful, wonderful restaurant. What if Habs win eight more in a row? Then we're going to be staring at a legendary Stanley Cup run. And we're going to be... I, I'll actually be happy if they do that because it's going to be a legendary run. And that's why we watch sports for, right? It's to watch special shit happen. So, I think that would be cool. Because like, if you want to watch average shit, you can watch amateur sports. Or we watch pro sports because we want to see some cool shit. Like some magical stuff happen. Oh, what a feed. What a feed to point. Easy money. What's the series? Tampa leads 2-1. to one. And not a whole lot of shots in game four. But just enough to have four goals evenly divided between the two teams. 2-2. Two to two. As we enter the second frame. Much, much more scoring than we had in the first few games. We'll see uh, We'll see if it keeps going or if both teams shut her down. Are you simulating the Habs versus Vegas? If this stream gets enough likes and comments and all that stuff, then yes, I will do it tomorrow. We'll see how it performs. What a pass. Oh, wow. Another pizza by Tampa Bay this time. Vasilevsky has the last word. My goodness. We're still in the early stages of this period. It's all tied up. Hands were playing in the Mickey Mouse division. Eh, whatever. Every division has bad teams. Like literally every single one of them. And it's gonna be it's gonna I can't wait. Because if Montreal loses. If Montreal loses in the third round, people are going to say, oh, you see, the North was awful. To which I will say, whatever division isn't going to be represented in the Stanley Cup Finals also means they're bad. If the North is going to be bad because Montreal loses the third round, whatever division doesn't make it to the Stanley Cup Finals along with the North is also bad. Automatically. Because you, you got to use the same logic. You have to. The East only had one bad team. Lies. That is that. Is, I'm pretty sure that's that. That's cap. That's cap. They had a bunch of average teams, and a lot of really good ones too. But I don't know. What annoys, what annoys me is that the North only has seven teams. Oh, nice save, dude. Ah, it is what it is. Jersey isn't a bad team. Yeah, of course Jersey's a bad team. What the fuck? Yeah, they're awful. New York's got it and they're on the attack. Quick pass to Mayfield. I'm not going to I'm not going to talk about the China thing today. I'm trying to I'm trying to keep my uh <laughs> I'm trying to keep my stream up. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I ain't doing it. You can say the North was bad. Oh, I'll I'll say it, but whatever division doesn't make it to the Stanley Cup Finals is also bad. Also bad. No, because they didn't make it to the finals, so they're bad. That's that's what it means. <laughs> that's a nice goal. That's a really nice goal. Oh, is it Paul Mary? Yes, it was. Let's go. I like Paul Mary. I really like. Paul Mayer. I'm so happy he's on a real team now. Let's go. Let's go. 3-2 Islanders. The <laughs> New Jersey fade, Travis Ajax. <laughs> what do you have against Travis Ajax, bro? <laughs> oh. Jesus. NHL 21 is so realistic. I mean, a couple of these games in this series have been really, really realistic. Like, it's been 
been kind of an education. Like, they, they've been more realistic than I thought they would be. So that's good. Paul Mary, the only good player Islanders acquired at the deadline. Imagine if they got Halsey, too. Just imagine. That would have been amazing. It's crazy, because Hall, Hall was extremely good and then stopped being extremely good for no reason. I don't know I don't know what happened. Oh, oh, that's five hole. That's a goal. Two goal lead for the Islanders. And that is a huge goal by Matt Barzell. 4-2 Isles. Ebbs to Lee to Barzell. Talk it at home. 4-2 Islanders. That was, uh, Vassy probably wants that back. Yep, he went right five-hold on him. Oof, that sucks. <laughs> the Islanders have been throwing lots of pucks on net, and they now lead by two as a result. Still that was, uh, that was a great goal. That's a good passing play, and, I mean, that's Matthew Barzell. He's going to finish. He's going to find that hole. He ain't shutting down that five-hole. Matthew Barzell going to find it. I promise you. Into the zone now. Tampa is going to light, or look to... Tie the game once again, but I don't know. Here comes that line again. Abs making a play to the middle. Ooh, ooh. That was looking. That was looking good. Okay, decent passing play right here. Into the corner it goes. Oh my goodness! Look at Big Rick. All the way back at a point. He gets it back. He doesn't care. He still has it. Shaking off hits everything. The point again. Oh, they're just barely going to keep possession of it. Man, the puck support for Tampa is really good right now. That shot is blocked. Oh, what a pass! But it's not going to go. Jesus. Got the wraparound looking pass. That was beautiful. Beautiful work. Everly's trying to end careers out here with the Deeks. Can't quite do it, though. He's the best goalie in the league. Vasilevsky? I would say so. I would say so. Would be nice if EA put the series score at the bottom. Yeah, it would be. Literally every broadcaster has it. It should be at the bottom. But it is two to one in favor of Los Tampa Bay Lightning. So we'll see if they can make it three to one. Or if the Islanders come back and even things out. We'll see. This frame, the Islanders lead it four two. And sneaks in and grabs possession. The Islanders grab he's, not, the he's not letting four goals in a game this series. Careful. Careful. Both of these teams can score. Both of them. Be very careful. That's a good pass. Oh, Stammer's going to get gloved. Look at it. Look at that. That's beautiful. Lightning will come back. Ooh, okay. Okay. It's an interesting take, Jackal. We will we'll keep that in mind if it happens. Oh, Kucherov with a chance. He almost got the first one right there. Rangers are making the playoffs within the next two to three seasons. I think they're making the playoffs as soon as next season. I think. I love the Suzuki line for the Habs. That line is monstrous. I think Suzuki is monstrous. You could put him on with virtually anybody and he'd be good. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy, man. That man is amazing. Give me one second, chat. I'm just going to go get some water. I'll be right back. Looking for space inside the D zone. They've got the defense on a number. Smart defensive play there. Moving to the middle with the one timer. Oh, it comes up with nothing on the play. Most dangerous place. All right, and I'm back. Just like that. Went to the fridge and got some snacks. No, I just said that because it rhymed. I ain't getting no snacks. I got drinks is what I got. Got me some water and I got me a can of V8 because you got to get your vegetables. Got to get your vegetables. <laughs> mm. See, the thing is, when you sit down to make a long-ass stream like this, you have to balance two things. One is staying hydrated so that your voice doesn't fucking kill you after an hour. And the second is not drinking too much so that you have to piss every five minutes. 
but now I need I need my hydration chips and Pepsi for me what are we having chat what are we having are we drinking something are we having snacky snacks what's going on let me know let a brother know I need to know what chat is snacking or sipping on what is the SS report S snack and sip snack and sip SS report that's that's dope we're making out a thing 60 percent of Tampa goals from the second period I feel like those stats are kind of useless but they're kind of fun at the same time orange juice baby That two-man thing that they had going on with 2K, that orange juice combination, that was kind of cool. I like that. It's a little cringe. A little cringe, but I liked it at the same time. Here goes Travis Jajak. <laughs> I kind of want him to score now, to be honest. <laughs> All-dressed chips and diet Pepsi. Ooh, okay. I don't think I've ever tried to diet Pepsi. I'm not a Pepsi guy. In the final moments of this period, it was OP. Yeah, it was OP in 2K. When you got that orange juice flowing, forget about it. You are scoring every fucking time. It was crazy. But I liked it, though. It, it was fun. To have that little story with, like, one of your teammates. Like a dynamic duo thing. I love it. Do I smoke? No, I do not. Not anything. I don't smoke anything. Grammar means nothing, you know what I mean. <laughs> That's the point of language. The point of language is to get a message across. If you're if someone is able to accurately correct you. It means your language got across, or the meaning of what you were trying to say got across. Therefore, it didn't need correcting. That's what I. That's that's what I think. Pepsi's like a family heirloom of my family. <laughs> Lightning Islanders series is basically a coin flip. It's going to be about who executes. Who can execute? That's the, the best. That's what's going to decide that series. Because you're right. Series score. Tampa leads 2-1 in the series, but the Islanders are looking like they just might tie the series here. Like apple pie, of course. It's delicious. What are the shots after two? Uh, about even. There you go. And they are ready to drop the puck on period number three. Was it? Was it 5-2 Lightning? Man. Coke over Pepsi? I'd have to agree with that. I like Coke better. Oh, the Lightning immediately cut the lead in half. Wow, it's Braden Point again. Okay, well, this is going to make for an interesting third. Whoa. Okay. Oh, ice cream. Let's go. Let's go, chat. I like I like me some ice cream once in a while. Oh, that's just... Oh, he almost got it. Braden Point making no mistake. Let's go. That Gatorade. Gatorade's dope, too. I like that. Like I said, Lightning will come back. Yeah, you did call it. We'll see. We'll see if they fully come back. You're getting the credit if they do, for sure. Pointer. Oh, to the middle. It's two on one. Man. They almost got the second one right there. What do you have for this series? Mm. I think Tampa's winning. I, I, I don't really care. I don't give a shit how many games, but I think Tampa might be winning this. Oh, because, I mean... The Islanders are an exceptional defensive team, but it's not as though the I or the Bolts can't defend. Like they can defend, 
And if the Islanders dare to take penalties, that Bolt's power play is ridiculous. So I think um, I think special teams is going to have a huge part to do with the series outcome. And I think Tampa's will execute the, bu the best. Well, we'll see. We'll see. It's going to be fun. It's definitely going to be an interesting series. You hate it when a team wins a fight and you have the energy to recover. No, that's I feel like that's pretty uh pretty accurate. Tampa Bay's been the better team, but not necessarily boasting the better goaltender trailing early in the third. The Bolts now, there's not just a defensive team, that's facts. They can score. They can definitely score. They have a wicked transition offense. They don't have as many top players as Tampa Bay. That's that's what I meant by that. But their MO definitely is play defense first and let your offense come to that. That's what I meant by that. But you're right. They're not just a defensive team. You're 100% correct about that. Oh, my God. Is that a hurricane emoji? That is lit. What the fuck? That looks dope as hell. That's dope as hell. Which game is this? This is game numero four. The Bolts have a 2-1 lead. I really wish EA would put it on the freaking scoreboard. <laughs> every time I do these streams, every five seconds, somebody asks me the series score. But it is what it is. And speaking of which, if you want to see some more, if you want to see me do the Habs series, the Habs and Golden Knight series, hook your boy up with some likes, hook your boy up with some subscribes. Listen... If the, like I said, with any of my series on this channel, if y'all support it, I upload more of it. It's as simple as that. So, do what you do, man. You know how the YouTubes work. You know how it works. So let's figure it out. Let's figure it out together. Do we, do we want to see another episode of this? Do we want to see the Hab series? We got 150 likes. Thank you. We just hit that. Boom. Appreciate it. And the bolts came back. Jackal was right. Jackal was right. He fucking called it. Unbelievable. Oh, we are eight away from 13,300 subscribers. If y'all could hook me up with a couple of subscribers, I would appreciate it, man. But you don't have to. I appreciate you just being out here. What a play. Tampa coming back again. G20s to go. I appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, man. Well, I've almost got there too. The lightning have injected new life into this game. All squared up. Bolts are too old, too good. They score when they want. It seems that way, eh? It sure seems that way. Now the Islanders. Oh, are they gonna get it right back? No, they won't. Wow. That would have stopped the momentum real quick if they if they immediately got the lead back. There's another there's another close game. Four to four. I was not expecting a four to four game in game four. Not doing it. Just subscribe. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. We'll see, man. I'm ex I'm excited for these. I always love doing these streams. I'm the best YouTuber? I doubt it. But I do appreciate it. Habs got best PK in the playoffs. That's overrated, in my opinion. Um, simply because they played the Leafs, whose power play fucking blows. So I don't think they have necessarily the best PK. I think they have the highest percentage PK. There's a difference. There's no need for this much hate. <laughs> You are don't downplay yourself. Ah, thanks, man. I, I do appreciate it. It's a matter of perspective, right? Some people... I'm sure some people fucking can't stand me, you know? And every single YouTuber has that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, All the aisles. I thought Abs was about to get it. I really thought he was. Who do you hate the most? Jake Paul or Logan Paul? I don't hate either of them. I don't hate either of them, man. They're doing what they do. They're doing what they have to to get paid. Gotta respect it. 
these men are fucking millionaires because they use social media exceptionally well and they're just great villains so good for them honestly gotta respect it the half speed case stats are pretty inflated a little inflated I like they still did a good job against Toronto but the thing is Toronto's power play is such unadulterated ass that it's gonna it's gonna help your PK a little bit is that power plays god awful oh off the post Tampa almost taking the lead here all right if they take the lead and hold on to it they're gonna end up oh that's a cannon of a one-timer goes wide but if Tampa can find a way to come through here and complete this comeback for a win, and they'll have a 3-1 series lead, that would be that'd be tough to come back from. So we'll see if they can do it. Down below, and I don't know how the hell it got to Varlamov, but it did. And he stopped it. What up, Cooper? How are you? Thanks for joining the stream, man. Hope you're having a great day. What do you think about the Mark Stone Chandler Stevenson PK? I I'm not exactly sure what you're referring to, but I like both of those players, that's for sure. Kid Javon, what's up? What's up? How are you, man? G20, what if there was no snow ever? What would you do? Cry, is is what I is what I would do. Uh, you know, be depressed uh, for for the entire year. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, I I like my snow, man. I like it. I'm actually not that attached to snow. Can we have? Can we have no snow, but it's minus fifteen? Can we do that? I'd I'd be down for that. Anybody else up in here from Montreal? I mean, I'm from Ottawa. It's not that far. Like an hour and a half. That's a great question, though. Is anybody else from Montreal? Uh-oh. Oh, there's a breakaway. It's a good play. Gonna go back, Kanner. He's kicked away. What a stop, Vasilevsky. Potentially a game-changing stop, as Tampa Bay would have been down in this game had he not stopped it. Matt Martin is gonna make a horrendous turnover. And somehow catch up to a speeding... Fo okay, Matt Martin is not that fast. I promise you, Rammer. I promise you. Habs fan from Orlando. That's interesting. I'm from the U.S. Nice, nice. Can you do the Bruins next? I mean, they're not in the playoffs, so no. They're gone. They're gone. Speaking of which, that puck is gone. Again, it's the same play for Kucherov off the faceoff. And he scores another one. And the Bolts have a one-goal lead here in game four. The Islanders have to win this game. If they don't, man, they're down 3-1 in the series, and it's going to be a really tough comeback to make with game five at Amelie. So they have to win this game. Jackal is a prophet. Yeah, seriously. Seriously, my man called this as soon as, pretty much as soon as the Islanders made it 4-2. He was like, yeah, Tampa's coming back. Don't sweat it. Don't sweat it. He just dropped the mic and he just watched it happen. Man's a bad motherfucker. Look at that. Anyone else from BC? That would be interesting to see. Uh-oh. Oh! Another save. Man. Oh, there's only 251 left in game four, too? Ooh, the Islanders are going to run out of time, son. Oh, 
Lina needs to stop playing Fortnite. Yeah, I don't I don't think Fortnite has anything to do with hockey, to be honest. I think it's perfectly possible you play Fortnite and play well at hockey. I'm not I honestly he might not even be playing Fortnite anymore, to be honest. He might be playing something else. I have it's a water. Tampa's getting shots. Those were blocked. That's pretty good. Not for BC, but a Canucks fan. There you go. That's what I like to see. Canucks have some nice-ass jerseys, man. That's some great jerseys. Toronto led in like five shorthanded goals. Was it really? F I don't think it was five, but it was a. It was a fair. It was too many. Let's put it. Let's put it that way. All right. We'll see if the Islanders here. Huge chance. They're getting a power play. Can they tie the game? They lose the opening face-off of the power play. Is Hedman actually forechecking this? Oh my God, he is. Tampa, what the shit? Oh my God, what is Victor Hedman doing? If they score here, okay. Oh, okay. Man, I don't know what the hell possessed Victor Hedman to go do that, but it almost cost a bolts of power or er, a goal. That sucked. That would have sucked for him. Oh, he goes right through the defense. Oh, he went for the forehand dig. He couldn't quite finish it. This is a huge play here. About 40 seconds left. The Islanders taking possession of it. They're trying to gain the zone. They are gaining the zone. It's a three-on-two. Huge save on Jean Gabriel Pacho. And they're going to clear all the way down the ice. Tecker says 23 as the Isles regain possession behind their own goal. It's a one-on-two. Peugeot is going to go wide, trying to make a pass, and that's going to be a tripping call. Tampa can hog the puck for as long as they want because whenever the Isles touch it, it's going to be over. Oh, man. 5.8 seconds, and the faceoff is going to come to the Islanders' end of the ice. They will need a miracle to tie this game. Absolutely miracle. I'm paying because I'm an Oilers fan and they lost. Same, bro. Same. Here we go. Last face off. Nothing. Nothing happening. Oh, they might? Nope. Run out of time. 3 1 Tampa lead. Going back to Emily Arena. They just might do it. They just might advance to the Stanley Cup Finals. Man. In five games, though? I didn't think it was going to be a short series. GG's in the chat. Yes, sir. Thank you, New York. That's funny. Jackal says the Isles are winning. What? Jackal says the Isles are winning the next three games and they're all going to be one goal games. I swear to God, bro, if that actually happens, I'm buying a lottery ticket and you're picking the numbers. You're picking the numbers. No way Tampa will lose three straight in the playoffs. I, yeah, I have to agree with that. That's my thinking as well, but we'll see. We will see. Chat does seem to give up a little, a little too quickly. I remember, um, I remember in the Habs versus Jets series. I think it was. I don't know, but y'all, y'all were like, the game's over, game's over, game's over, and then I was like, eh, there's still time left. And then Caulfield got a huge one timer to send it to overtime. So chat do be giving up a little too quickly sometimes, but we'll see if they're right about this one. Game five at Amelie. We're about to find out what can happen. If Tampa wins, GG's. They're going off to the Stanley Cup Finals. And if the Islanders win, we're going to game six at Nassau. So we'll see. Vasilevsky with a 9.15, probably a little bit under what he would like to be accomplishing at this point in the series, but still a pretty damn decent performance and Varlamov had a bad game four but was a superstar for the first couple games so I don't know Tampa lost four straight to Columbus not too long ago uh yeah but the thing is they weren't up 3-1 
<laughs> so, the Islanders might have a chance to beat Tampa Bay. I do believe they might win. I believe they might win. Oh, and Tampa will get an early goal in Game 5. Nikita Kucherov opens the scoring seconds in from point. And Ruda, my goodness, look at this. Boom, boom, easy money. Kucherov's been on fire this playoff, and he continues it in this simulation. That's one thing that EA has right, man. Kucherov is a problem, and he's going to go over Varlamov's glove early in Game 5. Set to five minute periods. No, it is not it's set to seven minute periods. Have you done the Habs and, and Golden Knights series yet? I have not. If this, if this simulation gets enough likes and support and love, and we reach some subscriber goals, then I will do it tomorrow. I'll do it. Like I said, the more the more you support a certain series that I upload, the more I do it. It is really that simple, man. So you want to see the Habs and Golden Knights? Make sure you support this one, and we'll do it tomorrow. Because tomorrow is game one of this series in real life. So it goes, it's going to open up an opportunity for us to do that. By the way, we are one subscriber away from 13,300. Can we, can, we can we get one person to subscribe? Can, can we do it? One of y'all in chat has to not be subscribed. One of y'all. One of y'all. <laughs> we are very close though I do appreciate the love that we've seen over 140 people watching right now 168 likes let's go let's go y'all are just killing it bro amazing amazing holy shit okay so apparently everybody subbed after I said that that's crazy Jesus Christ <laughs> We just got 14 subscribers in like five seconds. That was crazy. Jesus, y'all are amazing. Wow. Thank you. So we destroyed 13,300. We're at 13,315 now. My goodness. Now, I mean, I have been here for a long time. Yes, you have. That's facts. That's big facts. Look at the points leader. Braden Point is there. I can't believe Kucherov is not there, but I guess he's just goal scoring. He hasn't really set up anybody. What up, Dylan? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to game five. Tampa Bay's up 3-1 in this series. It's been mostly close games, but Tampa Bay just always seems to find a way to come back and and, and win. Especially that last game, man. They were down 4-2, and they came back and won 5-4 in regulation. Like, it was a great game. And we'll see if they can close it out here at Amelie Arena. They already have a one-goal lead thanks to Nikita Kucherov, who's been a monster. We'll see. I hope NHL 22 will be better. I hope so, too, man. I think it's going to be good. I think it, I think it is. And that's going to be another penalty by the Islanders. They've taken too many this series flat out. And they're going to take the first one here in Game 5. And Tampa has a chance to be up 2 nothing in the, in the game. Potentially closing game. Tampa's going to blow a 3-1 series lead like the Leafs. We'll see. That's what Jackal said. It's Travis Zajac. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. I know what's coming in the chat. I know it is. But we'll see if Tampa can score. Uh-oh. Oh, back at a point. That's a good chance. The rebound saves. More rebounds. Another save. Patrick Maroon almost put the bolts up two goals. Couldn't quite do it, though. Mitch going crazy. Yeah, he is. Watch the series go 3-1 bolts. 3-1 bolts. They've had a great series to this point. Matter of fact, I'm pretty sure that they deserve to win every single game that we've played. Especially that one where the Isles won. The one game that New York came out victorious in was them getting outshot 41 to 23 and Varlamov stopping everything. Literally, that's what happened. That is, is the zero hyperbole. Varlamov literally stopped all 41 of them things. And 
Islanders got two goals. <laughs> on 23 shots. They went 18 mil over the cap. Wow. Well, didn't really go over the cap. They went to LTIR. It raises your cap. Lightning had a weak division. Oh, my God. The fucking divisions thing. Really? Really? We're saying Lightning had a weak division? They just won the Stanley Cup. LTR is heinous. I don't know about that. It's literally just to help teams deal with injuries. It's like, you know, certain players that their career is over because of career injury. That's why LTIR is there. You know, it's to, to stop teams from really suffering because of that. And it's a good system because let's say, for an example, okay, I, I pray to God that this doesn't happen. I never want to see anyone get hurt. But if something were to happen to McDavid where he could not play hockey anymore, you mean to tell me you want the Oilers to have $12.5 million of dead cap? No way. That's not good for anyone. Nice goal. Nice goal. The Islanders tied the game. Brock Nelson. What a shot. One to one. That was a nice goal. Look at that. What a clap bomb. All right. So we're right back to even. Oh, and he drew a penalty right before making that play, too. That was a trip. A hundy 10. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter now. Huge goal for the Islanders, and they're back in it. North, North Dakota boy. Nope. Let me try that again. North Dakota boy, Brock Nelson. Why couldn't I say that? North Dakota boy Brock Nelson. Jesus Christ. I don't know why I couldn't talk. <laughs> That's crazy. Fucking streamer who can't talk. Imagine it. Imagine that. Unbelievable. <laughs> McDavid carried? Yeah, I'm not I'm not saying he didn't carry. What the hell? What the hell? Did I say McDavid wasn't I don't, I don't know if that's you're responding to something in chat, but I did not say McDavid, McDavid wasn't a great player. You have any player sticks at your house? Do you mean like actual game use player sticks? I do not. I do not have any. But if you mean like skater sticks, you know, as far as for playing hockey, then yeah, I have a few. Of course. I was actually going to buy a rib core with an Ovechkin curve for my my actual own hockey playing because I tried the Ovechkin curve and it turns out it's lit. It's great. I love it. So I was going to buy a rib core with an Ovechkin curve with like a really whip flex. I was going to be just, just darting wrist shots everywhere. And then the world exploded. So my hockey season got canceled and I couldn't buy it. Well... I didn't want to buy the rib core because, like, who the hell wants to spend two bills on a freaking hockey stick when you're not going to be able to play hockey for two years? So, that sucks. Hey, what it is, Nixon? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Matt B and Matt C. <laughs> Just do it. Welcome to the stream as well. Christopher, everybody. Oh, my Lord. The Islanders take the lead again on the power play. Nick Letty. Let's go. Let's go. Matt Martin is better than Nick David. I mean, Matt Martin's making it further. Look at that. Look at that. All right. All right. Remember, Jackal said that Islanders were going to storm back and win the next three games. <laughs> I'll be so mad if they do. 
<laughs> Jackal said, what if I'm really right? That's what I'm thinking, man. Shit. I know you said it for the memes, but like, what if it just happens? What if it just happens? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be shocked. Uh-oh. Okay. Kucherov almost got them, uh, almost got them hands. Barzal's dragged down. That's gonna be another power play for the Islanders. Oh, and if they take another, another goal here. That's going to be tough for Tampa to come back from, but we'll see. They've done it literally last game. What happens? All right. We're about to find out what happens here. Can the Isles take a two-goal lead in game five and really make sure that they're in good position to stay alive? Peugeot wins the face-off. Instant shot for the Isles gloved away by Vasilevsky. I had the high, I had the Habs going all the way for the memes, but it, now it might actually have. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. It's a very memey type of uh, type of playoff. Is that a penalty? No, it's not. They're gonna say into the bench. Okay. Tampa can't stay out of the box. Yeah, well, it's balancing itself out, right? Because last game it was the Islanders. They couldn't stay out of the box, so now I guess the refs are are evening it up. You know, you know they like to do that. Tampa's going to clear it, but it doesn't get beyond Santa Rice as the Islanders are right back into the zone. To the middle. Oh, God, I thought it was going to squeak in, but it didn't. It's a good hit. Isles still in possession. No, they're not. It's going to be cleared all the way down. I had Mexico to win the cup. Yeah, I don't think it's going to happen. I think they had a good shot, but I don't think it's uh, it's going to happen. What'd you say? It'll, it'll be hard for the for Tampa to come back if the Isles score. How is that a joke? <laughs> you have a gameplay sliders video. Yes, yes, I do. For my Be a Pro series, I have a video titled "New More Realistic Sliders," and that's pretty much what I did. I just went through all of the sliders. Yeah, that's a penalty. I just went through all of the sliders that I use for my Beer Pro series, and I feel like it makes the game feel a lot more realistic, especially around playoff time. It feels like it's actual playoffs. There's a whole bunch of little battles everywhere. And it, oh, that's a good play, but it stopped. And um, I really like this, the slider set that I built. I've changed some things from that video. But like 90% of those sliders are still the exact same sliders that I use. Man. So now, Isles up 2-1. Looking to come back here. Looking to win game five. And stay off elimination. We'll see. We'll see if the Bulls can do it, man. They're down 2-1. Can they come back? They're going to be starting on the penalty kill, which is not ideal for them. But if they can kill it off, then maybe. Just maybe they can do it. 11-10 the shots. Okay. Okay. It's actually pretty close. Been watching hockey since I was one. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, same, dude. Well, not one. Not me. But a lot of people. A lot of people in Canada watch it from a very, very young age. Now here come Tampa. Oh, my God. They're going to turn it over immediately. Ooh. Ooh. Barzell back in the middle. Oh, no. I thought they were going to create something, but it didn't work all the way down the ice. Only to the Isles blue line, though. They're going to come right back in. It's a good pass. Stutter steps to the middle. The Daggles overly daggled. He got poked away. Tampa's looking like they're going to kill this off. They just might kill it off. Oh, there's a good chance. Another kick save. All right. What up, Aiden? How you doing? Welcome to the stream, brother. Welcome to the stream. By the way, I'm rooting for Tampa. I also am rooting for Tampa in this series. I'm not going to lie. When did you start watching hockey? I was really young. I think I was like four. I think. Pretty sure. 
Brian, what's good? Welcome to the stream. Oh, the huge one-timer is stopped by Varlamov. Keeping the Islanders up. That was that was close. That was close to a goal. Oh, they almost got it back, too. That'd be some Islanders shit, getting a massive save and then coming right back down the ice and scoring. Not today, says Andre Vasilevsky. NHL 09, any good? I just ordered, ordered it on a whim. If it's the PC version, you might get a little let down because it's basically NHL 06 with 09 rosters. But if it's the PS3 or 360 version of NHL 09, then it is a fantastic game. Or at least it was for its time. I still, I still love it to this day. Uh, maybe it's a little bit of nostalgia. Obviously, it doesn't have as many gameplay features as the games today have but for its time it was a fantastic hockey game and I love it the soundtrack is also amazing in NHL 09 it's fantastic what's the series score it is 3-1 for Tampa Bay they're looking to close out the series here at Emily Arena but they are down 2-1 in this game so we'll see That was looking like a pretty good shot, but again, Islanders can't quite finish it. Oh, here come the Bolts. Oh, that's a decent deke. Goes to the middle, off the post. Oh, that was looking like a great, great goal by Kucherov. But he just couldn't find the twine on that one. That was very close. That was uh, that's a nice hit. Man, I thought Kuch was about to score and just freaking tie the game right there, but nope. Missing our captain, yeah. Yeah, that sucks for the Islanders. Orlamov's going to stop this, though. And superstar Travis Ajak stopped by Andre Vasilevsky on that last one. I feel like EA needs to focus on soundtrack more nowadays. I completely disagree. Um, that being said, the soundtrack has sucked, but with the Spotify integration on both consoles, I feel like soundtrack is not really important anymore. I feel like it really doesn't do much. If the soundtracks are awful nowadays in the NHL franchise. Like It hasn't been good in a long time. But I don't think it's worth putting resources in it. I just don't think it is when you can spend resources improving, you know, game modes that desperately need improvement and hopefully you know replace the stupid ones game mode <laughs> the nhl slap shot soundtrack i haven't i need to look that up i don't know what uh what's in there i don't know what's in it, it might be very similar to nhl 11 though i know that game was built on the nhl 11 there, there's a lot of nhl 11 features from that game into slap shot is what I'm trying to say but I don't know oh another shot another save you play hot absolutely not no way no shot I'm not gonna give EA my money so that they can make a mode more pay to win and then stop developing other modes because hut makes the money no fucking way even if I did enjoy the game, the repetitive gameplay of Hunt, which I do not. There's no fucking way that I'm, I'm promoting that. Is it similar to eleven? What slap shot or oh nine? Because oh nine is not really, not. It, it's quite different. Eleven was kind of a, the first game in a string of games where EA started to implement physics or more physics into the game. Because 07, they added puck physics. It was no longer magnetized to where it was going to go. Because before NHL 07, if you shot the puck, the game would decide if the goalie stopped it or not. And then the puck would, you know, 
either go in or not, depending on what the game decided. Sometimes you would even see the goalie move out of the way because the game decided, you know, it, this should be a goal. So 07 re restructured all of that. It became all about the puck is a loose object that does whatever the fuck it wants. There's no magnetizing to the goalie. It's the goalie is going to find a way to stop the puck or it's going in the net. So they added those puck physics. After that, the few, a few years of basically still going with animations and stuff. NHL 11 is when they added body physics, as in body checking. Every single hit was from a physics engine. They're, they just ditched animations altogether. And then 12, they added some goalie collision physics that they've removed since pretty much entirely, but they added that. And then 13 was the skating overhaul, which was pretty awful in 13 combined with other features, but the skating overhaul turned into probably the best the best feature in the NHL games because now the skating is actually pretty decent in the NHL games. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good. Hello, 7 on PSP. I didn't even know they made it for PSP. That's wild. Playing NHL Legacy Edition, that's... You know, I I was forced to buy Legacy Edition because my PS3 decided to stop reading discs. I wanted to play other games, other old-school NHL games on my PS3, but since it didn't read a disc, I had to buy a digital one. And so the only one that was available was NHL Legacy, so I had to buy that. I was sad. I was very sad. But it's a good game, though. It's, it's basically just 14 with a few improvements, you know? It's a good game. You can play free play in hut. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's a pay-to-win mode. It's it's a pay-to-win mode, and I'm not I'm not going into hut and giving EA the player base. I'm not doing it. The more people play hut, the more they have justification for literally ignoring every other game mode. So I'm not giving them that. PS3 sometimes doesn't work. I don't know what the fuck happened to my PS3. Just one day it decided it wasn't reading discs anymore, and I hate it. Series score is currently 3-1 to one for Tampa Bay. They're trying to close out the Islanders here, but the Isles are fighting. They're fighting for their lives out here, and it looks like they might be able to pull it off. We'll see. We'll see. Hutch garbage. Facts. First person fight. Of course I remember first person fighting. That was fucking dope. Uh, until you realize it was literally just throw punches until someone falls. But, you know, it was it was kind of cool. It was a fun perspective. Must admit I have a soft spot for NHL 2K10. I do like 2K10 to a point. I think you need to do serious work on the sliders to make 2K10 fun, though. Default sliders on 2K10 are awful. They are slow and sluggish, and you really have to do a lot of work on the sliders to make them feel like actual hockey. But there's a lot of cool features on 2K10, a lot of cool physics-based stuff, and, you know, better shot-blocking animations, getting kicked out of face-offs, all that, all that good stuff. The presentation's actually pretty cool. The graphics suck, but, I mean, whatever. It is what it is. It's a fun game. You just need a lot of sliders work. I really like 2K9. 2K9's default sliders are a lot better. They feel more like hockey. But it doesn't have as many of the cool features as 2K10 does. So, I don't know. I use sliders. Did you know slider set on YouTube? Oh. I, I usually like to just do my own sliders, but I'm sure Operation Sports has a bunch of sliders, and YouTubers have some fun sliders. 
It's just, but but 2K10 is a fantastic game with all of the the features that to this day, to this fucking day, EA hasn't implemented. Why the hell are people spamming face-offs in the year of our Lord 2021? Why the hell are they doing that without getting kicked out? Stupid. It's stupid. Two K nine is really good, but it doesn't have stick lifts, which bugs me. That's a fact. That's a fact. That's another thing. I forgot that two K nine didn't have stick lift, but you're right. I hope EA never jumps into Frostbite engine for NHL. Me too, dude. Me too. There's so many casual players that want Frostbite, and I'm like, dude, play any other sports game, any other sports game, as a hardcore, and you'll see. Frostbite is not it. It is not the answer. Even devs don't want it. Like, <laughs> that's not how you make the game better. Oh, that's a good save. This is your favorite team? Unfortunately, it's the Oilers. Fucking sucks. Team's trash. Oh, oh, what a huge chance. They can't find the back of the net again. Another monster stop by Varlamov. The one-timer. It stopped again. 2-1 Islanders. My God. I would always try to dodge, and then I realized dodging doesn't work in first-person fighting. The thing with first-person fighting is if you dodged, it reduced the amount of impact that the incoming punch would do. But it wasn't really effective enough that it was a worthwhile strategy. <laughs> what if there was an NHL Frostbite game? Okay, here's what here's what's going to happen if they switch to Frostbite. The first game, amazing. It's going to it's going to switch visually, it's going to look fantastic. The physics are going to be cool and, and all that stuff. The second game, they're going to refine it. They're going to retune it a little bit. It's going to be cool. And then the next five years, you will see absolutely nothing. You will see barely any changes because it sucks to develop on Frostbite when you're trying to develop a sports game. Every single EA EA game, EA sports game that's moved to Frostbite has had the same shit happen. The first game is really cool, and then once the shiny new graphics and lighting wear off, you realize, oh, they're actually stunting the growth of the game by using frostbite so yeah that's kind of how nhl is now though exactly so imagine if you have the already limited resources of nhl and then you add an engine that that makes it tough for you to create even more on top of it like we, we might never see a new game mode ever again it's gonna it would be awful Frostbite was made for FPS, was it not? Exactly. It was made to to make first-person shooters. Twenty one had so much more potential. I agree. They really had a lot of potential with twenty one. They just, eh, a few things really just killed it. Really killed it. The AI, the community, the fucking hut, of course. But, you know, I'm, I'm thinking if they build off of 21, they, they can definitely make something great happen with 22. I'm excited because usually we get the first, like the, the reveal trailer or whatever around the NHL awards and that's getting close so we might we might see something of 22 very close here Tyler Johnson had a good shooting chance he can't really shoot like that anymore I guess that's a, that a muffin oh oh are they gonna are they can he finally find a way to get it through Warlamov I don't know there's a good play it's another good stop okay another shot this one's stopped again my goodness Warlamov is huge he's a monster D -D -D. Oh god, this ain't this ain't it. Okay, down low into the corner. Oh, why would you give it to Maroon? That killed the cycle right there. 
Why do you want Tampa to win? Uh, because I don't really like the Islanders' style. I don't really like them that much. <laughs> that's that's pretty much it. <laughs> and I have I have a friend who's a Bolts fan, so like I want them to be happy. I want my friend to be happy about their team. Because I know I'll never be happy about my team, so there you go. I think in 21, one of the experiment with a storyline and they'll expand next game. Ooh, man, I really hope they don't go into a full story. That would suck. That would kill the career. If they did, like, a full, like, long shot or journey type of storyline, we'll have it once. You'll play it once, and it'll be over. Where's the series at? It is 3-1 for the Tampa Bay Lightning. They're looking to close out the aisles, but the aisles just will not allow that second goal, man. They're playing typical Islander defense. Oh, oh, there's a chance. Oh, and they can't get a good shot off. Easily handled by their goaltender. Do you think that NHL 22 cover athlete's going to be? Hmm. Something tells me Nathan McKinnon. Either Nathan McKinnon. Oh, wow. Nathan McKinnon, Mark andre Fleury, or... Oh, Mr. Svechnikov. It's one of those three. In my opinion. That's a great play. That's GG's. That is GG's. The Islanders are going to survive and force Game 6 unless Tampa Bay... Has two very quick goals up their sleeve. New York's been the better team Shadow with the two not or two seventy nine donation. Thank you very much, man. Tyler just left my place. A hey, my man, my man, Tyler and have a PlayStation 5. Tyler can be AFK in 4K. It's amazing. Oh, with a nice play and another stop. More saves by Marlama. Yeah, this is GG's. They're not coming back. How you keep it all good? Yeah, I'm good, man. Thank you. I'm having a, I'm having a good time. I'm having fun with my chat. My voice is starting to hurt, but I mean, I, I know it's I know it's gonna happen whenever I start one of these long streams. Like my voice fucking hates me afterwards, but but it's fine. Just drink some water, and we'll be good. You know what I'm saying? AFK and 4K, yes sir. Yes sir. And what do you think the worst NHL team is? I think it's unanimously Buffalo, but you know. <laughs> We'll see. All right. So Wallstrom is going to really, like, if the game wasn't over, it's over now. So the Islanders are going to force game six here as they win game five. Man, Vasilevsky just got dangled out of his freaking jock on that one. That's not good. So game six it is. Nab it. All right, so we are going back to Long Island, and we'll see if the Islanders can actually force Game 7. Jackal, I swear to God, bro. <laughs> I swear to God. Favorite team out of the original six. Ooh, Rangers, Rangers. Maybe the Rangers. Ain't even close. Make the stream, I guarantee it goes game seven. Ah, but well you're not the first one to, though. Jackal said Jackal said that the Islanders were going to come back. So you ain't the first one. Yes, Jackal. Oh, my goodness. Will they do it, though? Chat, okay. Update. We're going to do an update. After winning game five and forcing game six, 
Do the Islanders actually pull off this comeback, or will Tampa win and close them out game six? Say one for Islanders. Islanders come back. Say two for the Bolts win. What do we think? What do we think? One, one, one. Oh, yeah. There you go. There's a lot of Islanders support right now. <laughs> a lot of Islanders support but we'll see we will see oh wow that was a good chance Islanders just running up the score for no reason here they don't need to do this 15 seconds left 4-1 score for the Isles okay decent chance for Pajo er, I saw 44 I said Pajot oh my god Peugeot is not a bolt and kill me if he becomes one. Oh my goodness, that team is good enough already. Jesus. I don't know what nine is. Tech nine. If, if that's support for tech nine, I'm, I'm all for it. Man is a goat. And that is game. Game five to be more precise. The series is now three to two. The Bolts just couldn't find offense today. Varlamov stopped them whenever they did. We're moving on to game six. All right. So this is the second longest series out of our simulations so far. The longest one obviously being the Jets and Habs series that we did. That one went seven according to the sim engine. But it is what it is. Here comes the comeback. Yeah, I'm saying. I'm saying. Maybe. We'll see. Can they pull off the comeback? What were the shots? Oh, my God. 32-30. Barlamov stopping 31 of 32. Mm -mm -mm. That, is, that is crazy. All right. Let's simulate uh, this game. Boom. And we are off to Nassau Coliseum to see what happens. The Islanders must win to force Game 7. Tampa must win a road game to advance to the Stanley Cup Finals right now. We'll see what happens. Let's go. It would be 41-20 bolts in real life. Well, it happened in Game 3, I think. It's 41-23. to And the Islanders won that one as well. So maybe... Maybe the, uh, the the strategy for the Islanders is just get out shot significantly again. Vasilevsky having a having his stats impacted by that rough performance here in Game Five, but it is what it is. And Varlamov, I mean, nine twenty-two. If we remove that one game where the Bolts just kept scoring, Varlamov's been an absolute monster. So we'll see. All right, Game Six in New York. Let's figure it out, Everly. Trying to feed the middle of the ice early in the first period. Couldn't quite do it, though. Look at all the playoff towels. Damn. That's a lot of orange. That's a whole lot of orange in this crowd. Okay. Everly fighting for this puck. He can't quite do it. And the Bolts are going to come back down. I think this first goal is going to be huge. It's going to be massive. If Tampa gets a quick one, it might be GG's. But... Again, the longer it stands at 0-0, the higher the odds of the Islanders winning, in my opinion. That's a penalty. Yep, that's a penalty according to the game. It's going to be tripping, and the Bolts are going to get an early power play chance. We'll see if they can get the lead. It's Pelic again. Pelic again. Too much orange? Yeah, that, that, that's a lot of orange for sure. Here we go. Oh, they're starting the second unit. Okay. Interesting call by the coach. We'll see what they got going on. A few passes. Turnover instantly. Finland win over Denmark in Euro 2020. All right. There you go. Shout out to my Finnish people. Shout out to the fans. We have to shout them out. You like cheese? Oh my goodness, I love cheese. 
I'm like I'm like a little mouse and I just can't stop nibbling. It's it's crazy. I love cheese. And the puck departs the zone. The Bolts have it now. Let's go, Bolts. Your thoughts on who wins the cup? I think. Man, I think Tampa has the best chance out of all of four of these teams left. But it's really wide open. Either one of these four teams could win it. Ex I, I think Montreal is a little less likely than any other team remaining. But any team still could win it. Is this game six? Yes, it is. That is game six. The Islanders are facing elimination at home. They're going to win the face-off, killing this penalty, and shoot it all the way down the ice. That's lovely stuff. No shut up, bro, gaming channel. <laughs> I thought NHL 19 was pretty good. Uh, I didn't really like 19. I thought 20 was really good. 21 is meh. 19 was meh. NHL 19 is the best NHL. That's just cap. That's flat out cap. I don't. I don't think it's a bad game. It's definitely not the best NHL game. That's for sure. There's another penalty. The exact same thing. Casey Sezikis this time going to the box. Man. Okay. We'll see if Tampa Bay can score this one. Cooch with a shot. He's stopped by Varlamov. You might be a pro this year. I think it's a good start. It's definitely not a completed mode, but it's a good start. It's a base that they can work with. I think it's better. We still definitely need a few features, like, desperately, but it's not a bad start at all. You think there'll be a big change in game quality when they stop producing copies for old gen? No. I do not. There's going to be a, a decent graphical upgrade, new lighting, potentially a little bit more physics, but it's not going to be mind blowing. A lot of it's it's not. They're still going to have a bunch of random generic players because they can't face scan everybody, and if, even if they could, with these current times, it would be impossible for them. What a stop, Varlamov! Are you shitting me, dude? What the hell? What the hell? Unbelievable. Wow, okay. I forgot what I was saying, dude. I forgot what I was saying. NHL 13 was the best. That's cap. That's cap. It wasn't even good. Far less, not even close to the best. Okay, y'all are just literally naming all the bad NHL games, saying they're the best. I get it. I get the meme. I get the meme. <laughs> I have a massive storm where I live, so I might have to go. Yeah, that sucks. I... Well, it sucks, but at the same time, I kind of enjoy storms. Am I the old chat? Who, who likes thunderstorms out here? D does anyone like thunderstorms? I, I love thunderstorms. I might be alone, though. Breaking news. NHL 22 is not out yet. Oh, okay. So I'm not the only one that likes thunderstorms. There's a fair amount of y'all out here in chat. Okay, okay. I see you. I see you. Appreciates it. Let's go. Fuck yeah. I thought I was a weirdo, but apparently, if I am a weirdo, then there's a lot of us, so we're not weird. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Man. Holy smokes. 13,321. Oh, what a feed. And the Islanders take the lead in game six. Man, they just might do it. They might actually come back in this bow wow. Are you serious? Anthony Beauvillier finally decided to show up to the game or to the series. 
and they have the lead. 150 people on the case. We are five likes away from 200. I would love it if we could hit that. And I ain't trying to force you, though. We are also at 13,320 subscribers. If we could hit, like, 13,350. Could we even hit 13,350? I don't even know if that's mathematically possible based on how how many people are in the chat. Like, I know a good amount of y'all are already subscribed, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Prove me wrong. Can we hit 350? We'll see. Man, the Islanders are really in this. They are really in this to win it. Nice feed up to Everly. He goes right. He shoots it. He's gloved away by Vasilevsky. Okay. I thought Evs was going to have another one. We're now 25 away from 350. Nice. Yeah. Will NHL 22 be on PS4 still? I don't know for sure, but I can give you like a 90% chance that it will be. I don't know for sure, for sure, but it would be really stupid for them to exclude the last generation of consoles just because it's been so difficult for players to get the current gen consoles that it, it wouldn't make sense financially to not have last gen games. So I think they'll, they'll um, I definitely think they'll be in there. Don't worry. What do you think about NHL 04? I think 04 was amazing. I, I love the hell out of that game. That was awesome. It was an awesome game. Oh, we are almost at 13-3-30. Almost. Hey, we might, we might hit 350 because y'all are so awesome. Shit. Shit. We'll see here. Tampa's kind of been... I think they're out shooting the Isles at this point. I think they're out shooting them, but, you know... New York or to New York. They're going to take advantage of the opportunities you do give them. Uh-oh. There's a chance for Tampa, and they get taken away, and he takes a penalty 200 feet from his own net. Coaches absolutely hate that, and the Islanders are going to go on the penalty kill. No, no, they're going to go on the power play. Oh, shit. I thought the commentator said Pollock. No, it's Pollock. I was wondering, too. Okay, well, now this is a huge chance for the Islanders. Man, if they score this, it's 2-0. Ooh, bud. Ooh, bud. Why do you hate the Islanders so much? I don't hate the Islanders at all. I prefer the Bolts. I don't hate the Islanders. I, I, I really don't hate them. Really like 2011 because you could put your own soundtrack on the game. Yeah, that was pretty cool. You could do that for a uh, number of games, too. I remember NHL 14, I had downloaded a shit ton of files. And I had accurate goal horns, goal songs, freaking PA announcers for each and every single NHL team. And it was amazing. It was great. Are there teams that you truly hate? I don't think so. Honestly, I, I really don't think so. There's teams that I dislike for sure, but I don't think I, I particularly hate any team. Oh, nice shot. Let's go. Post and in. The Islanders have a two-goal lead. It's Brock Nelson again with another huge shot. Man. Let's go. It looks like they might force game seven. A jackal ice. Brother. Brother. You like the Canucks? Yeah, I don't mind the Canucks. I don't mind them. So I'm a Wings fan. Oof, I'm sorry, bro. I hate the Habs for the Sioux band trade. Yeah, that shit made no sense at the time. That shit made absolutely no sense at the time. It, that that comeback really do be happening, though. Holy moly. Oh, the Isles poking it in a neutral zone. They're coming right back down the ice. Man. Okay. 
Shoot that. No, no, it's not going to be. The Isles are going to take one. That even up call coming in huge. And Tampa Bay is going to get a chance to cut the lead in half here, but we'll see if they can do it. Why do you have such hate for Tony D? Uh, well, because he's a racist asshole. <laughs> That's why. I don't feel like uh, I don't feel like there's much more explanation to do with that. I don't. It, it's that deep. <laughs> Montreal will sweep Vegas. Holy moly! It's interesting. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Can Tampa cut this lead in half? I don't know. I don't know. But we're about to find out. They have the puck now. Oh, they're going to turn it over. Don't turn it over. No turnovers against the Islanders, y'all. They're going to make you pay for it. I agree. People like that suck. Yep. Mm-hmm. Now with an offensive zone face off the aisles, take it. Oh uh oh, and they're not gonna be able to do anything with it. It looks like they, it looked like they might get a decent shot, but they won't. Tampa might have a chance at an odd man rush, but they skate all the way back to the. I fucking hate the AI. Oh my god, why would you skate back into the corner on that one? That would be awful. Okay, right to the middle. It's a huge chance, but it's blocked and cleared out of the zone. Tampa Bay must be getting super frustrated at this point. Man, they just cannot buy a goal. Varlamov's got that no more goals vibe to him. Holy moly. And even even when it's not Varlamov, the Isles are just keeping him to the outside. Oh, the one-timer. Oh, you have to bury that. You have to bury that, but extended power play for the Bolts. There you go. Varlamov's going to touch it. You're going to have another two-minute man advantage. Not everything needs to be read. I do try to read uh, as much as I can, but it's just the chat is be it is going a little bit fast. Like it's tough. people don't realize that you have to read, watch the game, commentate, and pay attention to all three of those things at the same time. It's tough sometimes. It is tough. It's not. It's not physically difficult. But you can't do everything as well as you want it to be. And, yeah, they do have to stop giving Tampa power plays. It is uh, it's playing with fire. Playing with a whole lot of fire, and eventually it's going to burn you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It might be here. No, it's not. Huge save by Varlamov. Okay. Into the corner. Isles looking to regain possession. And they do. They cleared out. Oh, I thought that was going over the glass. I really thought it would. You like the Red Wings? Uh, I'm kind of indifferent about the Red Wings. They've been shit for so long that I'm just like, I don't care. And that's the worst place to be as a sports franchise, to be honest. But that's where I'm at with the Red Wings. They wouldn't take this many penalties in a real game? Yeah, they could. It hasn't been an unrealistic amount of penalties. I've taken a few too many, but it's it's not outrageous. A Blue Jackets fan. That's dope. That's dope. I appreciate that. I can appreciate that. And at the end of the first period, the Islanders are going to appreciate this. They're up to zip on the Tampa Bay Lightning here, looking to force game seven. It might happen. They might do the unthinkable. All right, two nothing lead for the Islanders. I really didn't. I thought that Bolts were going to take these boys out. They have two goals on six. Look at this Islanders ass stat line. What the fuck? <laughs> oh 
man, Islanders fans are just going to be loving this. That is crazy. <laughs> You have it set up for, for where it happens for the stream to last? I wish, bro. I wish. But I don't I don't freaking control any of that. That'd be funny. Also, to be honest, if I set it up to end the game, I would not make that thing last seven games because my voice is killing me. Big time. Also, apparently my controller is about to die, so that's no good. That's no bueno. I gotta find a way to plug this bow wow in. Or else I'm gonna lose all types of sound. So that's no good. Okay, we're back. Huge. My controller's plugged in, so I should survive. It is indeed game six with Tampa Bay leading the series three to two. They're down two nothing in the game, though. Oh, man, can they do it? Okay, all the way to the left side. Another drop. Oh, and it's not going to work. The storm's on the tornado watch, so I don't like it. Yeah, that's uh, that's not ideal. That's not good at all. Tornadoes suck. We had a pretty brutal one in uh, Ottawa not too long ago. Well, a couple years ago, actually. Yes, the series is 3 to 2 Tampa Bay. They're looking to end this tonight. But the Islanders are staying alive really well, man, with that 2 nothing lead. A lot of chat said Islanders in 7. Y'all might be right. Y'all might actually be right. Okay. Okay, all the way to the left side. Boom. Hurt him. Oh, he's back on the puck. Can he make it three zip? No, he can't. That looked good. Ooh, you used to live in Kansas, and one of them hit your part of town. That sucks. That really sucks. How do you become an Oilers fan? Uh, Ryan Smith was really dope. Really dope. I liked Smith. I liked Hemsky. They just had a really likable team. And they have done fucking jack shit ever since that era. So, there you go. Shoot that! Oh, man. Oh, man. Back at a point. Okay. Oof. That's, that's a big hit, but the Isles still have it. Oh, that's a good passing play. Ends up into the corner. I mean... Uh-oh. That might be a breakaway. It's not. They're going to drop it. Here comes an odd man chance, maybe. Nope. Again, New York doing what they can to stop the offense. They're really good at that, man. They are really good at that. Okay. Okay. Say Jack. Almost. Almost. I'm really looking for a Travis Sajak dangle and snipe here. That would be amazing if that happened. Steven Stamp goes with a huge chance. He's stopped also. Oh, I've always been around the Ottawa area. Nixon always... Recently moved to Paraguay. Wow. That's crazy. Oh, you got 21 back and can it. Oh, okay. So you must be pretty excited to, to get that. That's, that's actually kind of a cool story. Another good save by Vasilevsky. He's keeping Tampa in it. He's keeping them in it. They're down by two. They don't want to be down by three. Well, here we go with a face-off. Okay, the Bolts win it. It's a good start. Can they gain the offensive zone? No, they can't. Islanders say hail to the knock. There's another one, though. There's another chance. Are they going to drop it? Oh, he's going to hook back and drop it at the point. Nice passing play. Cooch with a shot padded away into the corner. That's lovely stuff. Okay. Back on the right side. Doesn't quite work. Man, they're trying. You can see that Tampa's really starting to figure out that, yo, we cannot let this team 
force a game seven here. They start to, oh my goodness, and they're too aggressive trying to avoid it, taking another penalty, and the Islanders have a chance to make it a three-goal lead. You not like the Sens? Fuck no. Why would I like the Sens? Awfully run organization. Shitty team. Now here come the Isles with a huge chance. They're going to lose the faceoff. Well, Barzell's going to lose the faceoff. Into the corner. Okay, he's going to get board played. No, he's not. Tampa's still with it. Look at this big Russian tank. Going through the... Oh, my God. Sergeyev almost friggin' one-man rushed his shit like Bobby Orr. Those are, said the Islanders' power play as they reset. Lee to the middle. And they're going to turn it over again. Okay, a lot of neutral zone action from these two teams here in game six. Okay. That was looking... Okay, that was looking decent, but... Didn't really turn into something too crazy. The sins are going to be great very soon. Yes, for about two years. They'll be great for two years, and then Eugene's going to say that he doesn't want to pay any of his good players, and then they'll be right back to being garbage again. That's how it works. <laughs> Lee shouldn't be playing. You are going to have to talk to EA about that oh oh what a save not as badly run as the Coyotes that's a fact that's a fact but they're still badly run they're still badly run that's like saying your bank account has five dollars and saying you're not broke because someone has zero no you're broke you broke. Detroit is obviously going to win the series. Yeah, obviously. Kind of the obviously. Three five on three oh, it's on face-off. Here we go. Three, Islanders on a five-on-three, man. They, if they get this goal, it's GG's. They get this goal, it's a wrap. Tampa's not scoring three in the third period on Varlamov. That ain't happening. That ain't happening. To the middle. Uh-oh, there's a two-on-one chance. Sparcial goes right. Oh, my God. They overplayed their hand, and Vasilevsky poked it. That was a huge one-timer save, too. Holy shit. Still trying to pick a team to be loyal to, to be honest. Yeah. Let's go Raptors, yo, that's what I'm talking about. Raptors. Decent team. Really, really bad season for them. But they're run properly. They'll be fine. They'll be fine. If they can get Masai back anyway. It's going to be a little bit more difficult. They can't get Masai, but it is what it is. Are these full 20-minute periods? No. Considering how fast the clock is going, that is not 20-minute periods. They are set at 7. If we if we set it to 20-minute periods, I could not do a full series sim in one stream. I could not do it. It would take too long. Also, the stats would be incredibly unrealistic. I found the sweet spot to be right around 7 minutes because you'll, you'll have about 30 shots a game, which is about average for an NHL game. Gee, what will you do if I'm right and the Isles win in seven? Uh, buy a lottery ticket. Here's what I'm gonna do. As long as long as in in chat you just say that if I buy a lottery ticket I'm gonna win, um, then I'll go do it. <laughs> My man Tom, so how you doing, man? Welcome to the stream. If this goes to a game seven, I will freak out. Same, brother, same. It's currently game six. Tampa looking to close it out. But it's looking pretty unlikely, man. Look at this. The Islanders are just suffocating them. Uh-oh. As I say that, Tampa's about to go in and start a cycle. No, they're not. They're really not. Broken immediately. Okay. Barzell. 
to the right side. Is he going to drop it? Eventually, it's dropped to the neutral zone. They're going to reset it. Oh, that's a good feed up the ice. Ah, nothing. Oh, that was a huge chance. And Varlamov stopped it again. Man. If he's goaltending like that, it, it ain't even happening, bro. It ain't even happening. Sheesh, bro. Another one. Another one. We're about 20 away from 13,350 subscribers. If y'all want to help me out and you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. I would, I would appreciate and love it if you could do it. You don't have to, though. You don't have to. We got 214 likes, though. Y'all been killing that. Holy shit. That's crazy. That's unbelievable. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, God. Isles. Back at a point. Oh, there's nobody at the point. That's going to be end of the second period. And in this game six where the Islanders could go home if they lose, they came out and they got a 2 nothing. Why would Sabalski say the word? What the hell, Sabalski? Come on, man. Even if we blow the series, I need to remember it's not real life. <laughs> Look at this. 12 shots, 2 goals. 25 for Tampa Bay. No goals. Oh, my God. This is eerie. This is eerie how plausible this is. The Isles beat Tampa. Are they going all the way? Ah, uh, we don't know. We can't. We can't possibly know that for sure because games are going to happen between now and then, and we're going to have injuries undoubtedly, streaks hot and cold. So we can't really know. Is Vancouver protecting Holtby? There's not a shot. There's no chance they protect Holtby, right? No chance. L for Vassi. Yeah, that is an L for Vassi. You you don't want to you don't want to allow that many goals on that few shots. Oh, that's a good glove save though. There you go. Okay, he's back. They need to add the series scoreline to the bottom. Yeah, they do. They really do. But in this game six, Islanders trying to stay alive. Barzell to get a forehand face off grip. Interesting. He's gonna tie up. Abs is coming in to fight for it, but they can't come up with the puck and uh, bolts are offsides we're gonna have to do another face off there you go huge it's been a good series though Play set to resume with the face -off ready to go. even if it's been a little bit you know defensive at times it's still a really good series i think so anyway this is another nice save by varlamov tampa trying to force feet in the middle it's not really going well it's cleared all the way down. Okay, Vass is just going to stop that a little bit. Not bad, not bad. Love to see it. What do we got right now? 166 people watching. That is amazing. 217 likes. Y'all are killing it. Love y'all for it, man. Subscribe if you're new. All that shit. Thank you. You think NHL will get the ESPN license for the newer game? You know what? Now that now that I really think about it, and now that you write that, that might be the logic behind NHL bringing in Sabolski for these last couple games. I don't know. Maybe they just have Sabolski in there as a placeholder until we have ESPN packages. That could be a thing. Maybe EA was like, you know what? It's a very short time period before ESPN comes in. We're just going to wait. We're just going to wait. But I don't think it's uh, that likely. Because even when they had Jim Houston and Craig Simpson, they didn't brand Hockey Night in Canada. They didn't have the CBC package. None of that. They didn't. Oh, that's a good play. But it would be interesting to see because ESPN typically has been a like a 2K game type of thing. So we'll see if they can do that. That would be cool. I would like to see ESPN 
you know, play the ESPN theme while we're playing the game. Oh my god, that would be amazing. ESPN graphics always look slick. Would be cool. Would be cool. EA has worked with ESPN before, though. As much as I say it's mostly a 2K thing, they have worked with ESPN for their college sports series. Like... NCAA basketball and football, they've, they've worked with ESPN for those. Tampa just isn't really doing anything, eh? We're about a quarter of the way through this third period. They're not really generating much, and what they are generating, being stopped, being really truthfully stopped by Varlamov. There you go, right there. Shaw Forslund as a play-by-play -play guy. That would be kind of cool. The Bulls still trail in this third period despite numerous scoring opportunities. Oh, Forslund is going to be Seattle, so it's unlikely. Well, it's not entirely unlikely if you think about it because they had Houston and Simpson for a while because Houston was in Vancouver, right? So if Forslund's going to Seattle, then he won't be that far from Vancouver. So it could actually happen seeing as Jim Houston doesn't want to do the video games anymore. So that would be kind of cool. It's going to be close in really life. Yeah, it is. I, th I think it is. I don't think there's a team that's running away with this, but the Isles with the power play here have a chance to extend that lead to three. Oh, they almost do right off the bat. It would be pretty much GG's. If they get this third goal, man, I don't think it's happening. I don't think it's happening for Tampa. Saranac doesn't want it to happen, so he dumps the puck in. He fought for it, though. Okay, up the ice. They might get a three on two hitch. No, they won't. Oh, they're going to get a chance on the right side where they try to force the middle. Never a great idea. Vassi easily able to stop that one. You think Holtby will have a breakout here in Seattle? Well, no. I don't think Holtby is in a position to have a breakout year. He's too old to have a breakout year. He's already had his breakout year. He's past his prime. He's not, you know, uh, oh, God, here we go. Huge chance, and they can't friggin' finish it. The AI is doo-doo butter on the breakaways. Doo-doo butter. They just cannot get any space. Jesus, killer got killed. There you go. There's a roll reversal for you. A couple of skating strides later with those backwards crossovers. Tampa's in transition, but they're going to give the puck away to the neutral zone. Another bit of a neutral zone kind of play here from the Islanders. Oh, that was looking like a good pass. Mm. Denson, what it is, man. Thank you for joining the stream. Welcome, welcome. There's a goal for you. You came in just in time for a goal, but it's going to be called back. Oh, he's going goalie interference. That's a goal. Or that's not a goal. It's not going to count. Okay. Rip. The Tampa Bay Lightning. Rip the Tampa Bay Lightning. It's not going to count. Nope. No, sir. Besides the Oilers, which team do you like? I, I like the Leafs, unfortunately. Sucks, but uh, it is what it is. Here comes Ebbs. Oh, what a good shot. Man, I thought Eberle was going to make that 3 0. That would have been very fitting. After a no-goal call, that would have been crazy. Cooch, going back down low. Doesn't work. Okay. Okay. Tampa sucks. I don't know about that. They're leading the series 3-2, and they're in the third round of the playoffs. If that's the definition of sucking, then can the Leafs please start sucking again? <laughs> One win away from the Stanley Cup Finals. That would be, uh, be kind of cool if that was the bar. All right. Into the, ooh, that's a pizza. Jesus Christ. Got to finish that, Tampa. Oh, no, that's a huge save by Varlamov again. Jesus. Man. Okay. Okay. How many shots are we at? They have to be at 30 by now. They have to be. They couldn't win the cup back-to-back. -back. Yeah, they could. That would be cool. 
That'd be kind of cool. Since they had the roster to, to win cups before, I think going back-to-back -back would be nice. Oh, that playmaker, Matt Martin, with a huge feed. It's 3 nothing Islanders. That's GG's. They're going to take home game six. Travis Zajac. Yes, sir. Look at that. Look at that. Matt Martin to Travis Zajac. Easy buckets. What a shitty camera angle this is. Good Lord. Are you doing halves Golden Knights after this? If this stream gets enough support, like with the numbers and shit, I'm going to look at the numbers. If it does enough and gets enough support, I will be doing it tomorrow. Because I can't I can't do two, two of these streams back to back on the same day. I'm going to kill myself. Like, my voice is going to die. But if this gets enough numbers, I am doing it tomorrow. Isles in seven. Yeah, chat was saying Isles in seven. That was the... Not the consensus, but the most popular answer. And it looks like the Islanders are going to force Game 7 here. Unless Tampa Bay has a three goals in eight-minute performance. I don't think it's going to happen, though. I think Voilamov is just on his game right now. Zajac again. Back down low. It's a decent hit. Okay. Tampa's looking to create more offense. Even more offense. They're probably over 30 shots by now, but they just cannot get them by that goaltending. I can't do it. Oh, right to the inside. What a deep. Oh, and they turned it over. Mm-mm-mm. Man. They cannot do it. Two on one for the Islanders. The other way. It doesn't work. The Leafs scored three goals in four minutes. Yes, but you're comparing actual hockey players to the AI in this game. And that's that's just a thing you cannot do. I don't think the AI is scoring three goals in this short amount of time. So we'll see. We'll see. Back down low. New York doesn't mind this. They can just keep the puck. Keep the chances low. They'll be fine. I almost dropped my water bottle just now. I'm going to need some water after game six because obviously this is going seven. <laughs> oh, man. So I'm going to need to to back out and go get some water uh, during the game intro. But I will be right back like mm, like two minutes later and get some water, get some meal. Go for probably a, a small break, but I'll be right back in game seven because it looks like it's heading there. Shoot that. Oh, it's going to go wide. Wow. Wow. When you hit 20k subs, can you do a face reveal? That would be literally impossible for me to do a face reveal at 20k subs because I've already done it. <laughs> it would literally be impossible. I literally, my face is, has been on my channel once a week for the past, like, three weeks. And it's it's been there. <laughs> Series is 3-3, technically. I mean, yeah. If we really think about it. Oh, unless... Nope. Another massive stop by Varlamov. Tampa's going to gather it again. Back at the point. Good passes. Nothing still. All right. So, now we have a minute 50 left. Tampa needs a miracle. Needs several miracles. Two on two. Three on two. Kuch Rav to the middle. Back to Kuch. That's going to go wide. They can't do it. They can't find a goal. Another massive save. That was a great. That was probably their best chance of the game. And they got stopped again by Semyon Vodlomov. And it's going to be GG's. 55 seconds left now. It's a wrap, son. It's a wrap. The Islanders are going to shut this down. And after being down 3-1 in this series, will force Game 7. I, I'm i I'm shocked. I did not, it was not looking likely. But we're going to have another Game 7 outcome. So chat was right. It's going to be a Game 7. We don't know yet if it's going to be Bolts or Isles. But y'all was right, man. 
going to go to seven. I didn't think it would, but it is. Peugeot with a backhander. Oh, I can't believe he didn't finish that. That was looking like easy money, but it goes wide. I can't believe the Islanders are having all this pressure here when Tampa needs all these goals, but they are. Great performance by New York in game six. They send a message to Tampa Bay, man. It is going to be a fight. Game seven, winner take all coming up at Amelie Arena. Oh, my goodness. Wow. And the Islanders, yeah, they did shut out the Lightning in Game 7. That's amazing. So here we go. Here we go. Well, it's tough for EA to, to really program a, a building into the game because the Islanders didn't even know where the fuck they were going to play for the longest time, and they just kept switching buildings. So, you know, give EA a credit uh, or a break on that one. Most of the arenas around the league look pretty, pretty good. But the Islanders building, like, who cares? Until the Islanders figure out where they're going to play. I don't think EA should spend too, too much time on it, to be honest. You doing one for the Habs or Knights? If this one gets 36 save shutout for Semyon Varlamov, his second shutout of the series. Holy shit. But yes, I will be doing Vegas and Habs if this stream gets enough support. When I look at the numbers and all that, the watch time and the clicks and the likes and all that good jazz, if it's, uh, if it's supported enough, I will do it for sure is easy. Here we go with game seven, y'all. Winner takes all. Here it is. Tampa Bay versus Islanders. Chat while I go to get some water. While I go for a quick washroom break and do all of that. Let me know. Predictions in the chat for game seven. Holla at you, boy. Chat. Chat. Lots of time left in this Did you period. see that? Nikita Kucherov. He ain't wait for my bathroom break to be over. Hell no. He said I'm scoring this goal right now. He said I'm a grown man. And I am not allowing this comeback to happen. It's one nothing. Tampa Bay in game seven. Most of the chat looked like they said victory for the Islanders in game seven as a prediction. 
I appreciate you guys sticking through my little intermission here. I'm sorry that I had to go, but, I mean, I am human, so I do have uh, to take a pee once in a while. That's going to be another great stop. Holy moly. I, I'm kind of tight that I missed a goal, though, uh, to be honest. <laughs> but it is what it is. It is what it is. Game seven. Yes, thank you, Chad. This is indeed game seven. Where is he? I'm right here, dog. I am literally right here, brother. You're human. Yes, I know. I know. It's shocking. I am. I am. You think EA will ever let us customize the goalie masks? No. I don't think so. I do not think so. I'm back with the series. We are in game seven, bro. Game seven. The Islanders came all the way back from down three to one. And they're looking to make a statement here. They're looking to advance to the Stanley Cup Finals on what was nearly a reverse sweep. Pretty much on the back of Semyon Varlamov. I need to get some meal. Where's my meal, bro? I got some water. I want my water to taste like stuff. I need some meal. I love drinking meal, man. That shit is delicious. Anybody else like meal in the chat? Let me know. Let me know. Boom. That's all in the water flow now. My water's going to be delicious in about a couple seconds. Gets my profile pick. <laughs> Pulak's not been able to get anything going offensively. You can see the frustration bubbling up on him now. The centerman glides. What flavor meal? Uh that's a good I that's a that's a great question. What flavor meal is this? It's fruit punch. I just put some fruit punch in my water. It's delicious. I like I, I love fruit punch. It's great. Not a big fan of any of the lemonade flavors, but I like the I like the fruity flavors. I think they're pretty good. Oh shit! The Islanders with a chance, man, and they're gonna squander it away. That's no good. That's no bueno. That's no bueno. And there's gonna be a penalty. It's gonna be on the Islanders, and Tampa has a chance to take a two nothing lead in Game Seven. All right, we'll see. Hmm. Mr. Mayfield, I'm going to have to sit down for a few, sir. Islanders are buzzing IRL, so underrated. I don't think the Islanders are underrated that much. I think a lot of people are starting to realize that they're a real team. They're, they're a serious team. They can literally shut down any hockey team in the world. And it's going to be, uh, it's going to be tough. They're going to be a tough out, man. They're one of those teams where they're not necessarily the favorites in every series they play, but they are probably the, one of the toughest outs in the NHL. You're going to have to bring your absolute best to beat the Islanders, tactically, physically, mentally, everywhere. You're going to have to be at your best. Tampa Bay is looking to be at the best on the power play here. The slap shot is blocked. They're going to retrieve the rebound, though. And a nice feed to Kucherov, who's been on fire for this series. He's going to get another feed. That one's blocked and cleared out of the zone. Great defense. And the game is still 1-0 Tampa because of it. Holy moly. That is great stuff. They're going to turn the puck over, though. And we'll see if the Islanders can maybe regain some control of this game. They do need a goal to tie this game up. So we'll see. Oh, that's into the neutral zone. You see, Tampa's having a little bit of troubles gaining the zone. Oh, here we go. That's a three out two, boys. Can the Isles catch up? Can they tie the game? They're going to go to the corner. Okay. You know what? Not ideal from a three on two, but you lost a one on one with with um, Victor Hedman. So that's tough. That's always tough. Maroon's trying to go out outside. He can't quite do it because he doesn't have the speed for it. And they're going to be looking to win a puck battle here. Tampa Bay def definitely wants an extra goal. And that is a good penalty. That is an example of a good penalty. That's a breakaway. 
if he doesn't trip him. So Tampa Bay is not too mad at that. Tampa's actually not mad at that. Look at that. You have to trip. You, you can't let him go. Mm. So I think that's Ed Cernak. He's going to sit to the box. And here come the Islanders power play with a chance to tie this game. Back at the point. They're going to. Ooh, okay. Not bad. Not bad. From the faceoff win. They're getting their their power play set up. Oh, my God. They literally just let it go behind the net and left it alone. That sucks. Oh, it's a series win game seven, brother. Oh, and they're going to take a delay of game penalty. That's not a good one. That's a terrible one. You do not like that. McDonough clearing it over the glass. You can't do that. It's five on three. New York's got a five on three, and the clock's their BFF here. Hey, they say What's your thought on Elias Elrokin? I, I think he's decent, isn't he? I haven't seen much of him, though, so I can't. I, I don't know. The storm passed. I don't have to lead. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Glad you're okay and glad that that tornado didn't materialize. Islanders, though, trying to materialize a five on three into a man. I thought they cleared it over the glass again, but no, all the way down into the zone. Isles trying to tie game seven on this man advantage up to the offensive side of the neutral zone. They gain the zone, but they're stopped, and it's all the way down the ice again. Mm. Mm. Man, that Mio is delicious. That Mio is amazing. Okay. Islanders coming back down. Oh, that's a good pass. That's a great play. It's looking good. Oh, and it's padded away. Another huge save. Vasilevsky's looking to answer Varlamov's insane performance in Game 6 with a great one of his own in Game 7. And he started started pretty well. But they're coming back down the ice. They're trying to apply some pressure here. Seeing New York open up is, is a, little, a little weird. Oh, I thought that was onside for a second. I thought I was going to stay outside. Barzell was going to do mean things to that defense score. Holy. Watching the AI, <laughs> watching the AI try to set up a power play is torture. That's facts, bro. They don't know. It, they look like the Leafs. They don't know how the hell to set up their offensive plays. I don't know what it is, man. That's something that 2K did a lot better than EA. Even over 10 years ago in NHL 2K10, power plays actually set up and started passing around and were looking for a good open shot. So EA. AI just doesn't do that. It's just they can't do that. I don't know. I don't know why. Man, if I had... If I had 2K10 with current rosters... Imagine if we did the Stanley Cup Sim on 2K10 but current rosters. That'd be interesting. That would be very interesting. It would be a lot more um, highly goal scoring, though. There's not a whole lot of saves in 2K. That's the one thing that the 2k nhl games were always lacking in is you could not ever see a goaltender have a good performance in 2k they would just arbitrarily let pucks go in because it was time oh that one timer is going to smoke the post and stay out oh and just like that it's one nothing still okay back at the point that's a good play on the passes Another stop by Vassy. He was really bounced back from last game. He didn't even play that bad last game. He just, eh. And that's the first period. First period of game seven. In the books, Tampa Bay up one nothing at home off of a Kucherov goal I was in the bathroom for. <laughs> one nothing final, imagine. I'm not even here to commentate the only goal of game seven. I'd be pissed. Guess what kind of power A I have? Blue, purple, red, or orange? I'm going to say purple. I'm going to say purple. The shots, 7-6. to six, Pretty even. Isles actually out shooting the Bolts, which is a little bit rare in this series. Hey, Tyler. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to Game 7. The series was 
for Tampa Bay. The Islanders fought back to force game seven, and here we are. Great. Purple? Was it purple? Let's go. Oh, wrong. I have red. Ah, but is it wrong, though? When you really think about it, when you really think about it, there is red in purple. So am I really wrong? Because, because you know, you have a part of purple. If I said blue, I would be very wrong because there's no, there's no red in blue. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm trying to stretch into a half W here, all right? Give me some credit. <laughs> Leave it up to me to pump the game a little. I'm trying. I'm trying. Blue gang. Yo, that's a fact. Uh, the best power rate is the blue one. No cap. That's the best for me, for my opinion. What do we? What does Chad think is the best color of Powerade or Gatorade? You know what? Either or. Whatever you prefer. Which which is the best color? <clears throat> we got some blue. We got some reds. Why is the AI so bad with breakaways? That's a great question. I don't know. You know what I think it it is is they're not allowed to play with speed. They don't let the AI play at full speed. They never skate with the puck at full speed. And I think that's why they're so bad at breakaways because they can't get the, the necessary space to actually do anything useful on breakaways. Because when they have... Like, let's say it's off of a really, really awful change or you spring them, like, super loose and they have a bunch of space. They can actually make a decent move. They can make a play and they can do something that is actually threatening to the goaltender. But when, whenever they have somebody chasing them down, since they're not allowed to skate at full speed, they can't do it. They can't do it. Mm. Blue is my favorite. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Blue is the best because Michael Jordan drank the blue one in that ad. That's funny. That's actually funny. Do you speak French? Not, not super well, but a little bit. What is the Sabres' main problem, and can they do something? Oh, my goodness. Do they even have a main problem? I don't know, but the Islanders... Oh, my goodness. It's the sniper, Matt Martin, with another one. What the fuck? He's having a great season, or a great playoff. Look at this. Boom. Boom. <laughs> it's Travis Sajak to Matt Martin. The opposite of what happened in Game 6. And the Isles tie Game 7. Look at that. Boom. <laughs> the series score is 3-3. We're in Game 7. This is winner takes all. Noted goal scorer Matt Martin. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, here comes Zajac again. To the left. Oh, my God. Zajac tried to set up Martin again. Imagine. That's hilarious. Back to the left side at the point. The shot is padded away. And Tampa's going to, okay, set up something. The shot. Easily saved. Tampa's looking at for an answer ship here. Look at that. Look at that. Tyler Johnson. Back to the middle. That's a great play. They get a chance. Oh! What? What, no, what happened to this puck? 
Oh my god! No shot! No shot! He actually stopped this. Oh my god, Samian! Samian Varlamov! Jesus! That is a 10 beller right there with the very edge of his blocker. That's incredible. Tampa still fighting. Still getting shots through. Dominating offensively. They finally falter and turned it over. Man. What a what a save. MVP. That's a fact, man. Varlamov has been the Isles MVP for this um this series. Him and Matt Martin. <laughs> Ironically. At Smith, it's nothing crazy. What do you mean, bro? It was an empty ass net from an NHL player. <laughs> that is a 10 bell save. It doesn't matter which NHL player takes that shot. That is a huge save. Man. Okay, here comes Blake Coleman now. That's a muffin. Blake Coleman can shoot better than that. That's bullshit. Man. Unbelievable. An at-home Tampa Bay understands, man. They've seen this Varlamov circus before. And they understand that they can't... Oh, my God. They're actually going to skate back into the corner and turn it over. I hate the AI. I hate the AI so much at the point. Okay. Down low. Looking for a decent shot. Tampa Bay is playing some physical defense. And Var er, Vasilevsky with a huge save. That's a big one. Ten bells. I like that. Thank you. Your Vezina favorite? Oh, it's got to be Vasilevsky. No, no chance anybody else gets that. It's Vasilevsky. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. The Why is Smith play Stanley Cup playoff hockey? I don't know, man. I just went with the default rosters. Because the thing that happens, the thing that happens, right, is if I go into the current rosters and I change anything, anything. Then the rest of the stream, like the, the entire time, people are going to say like, oh, do this, do that, put him on this line, him on that line, change goalies, do this. So I say, you know what, fuck it. I'm just going to go with default rosters and, well, the current rosters, current online rosters, and that's that. Because I'm not, I'm not micromanaging the fucking lines for each team for the entire simulation. That ain't happening. It's just not happening. What a feed! It's Braden Point again. He gives the Bolts the lead. What a play. 2-1 Tampa. Just like that. Nice play, dude. That was wonderful. Look at that. Boom. At Braden Point again. Braden Point might be the MVP for Tampa. He's been amazing. He's been amazing this entire time. Braden Point, a clutch player. That's facts. That's facts. He is clutch. I think he's like top 10 all time for most game winning goals in a season. Which game winning goals is kind of a eh, stat. Like it's not super meaningful. But it's oh, two on over the aisles. GG's. They're just going to score immediately. Take it right back. Game seven's even again. Are you nuts? That's what they do, man. They force turnovers and they make you pay immediately. <laughs> two to two. Oh, man. I like kinda how he felt backwards. Yeah, because he had that momentum trying to get it, and he was just like, ah. You speak French a little bit, not super, not super well, but I, I can, I can speak. Oliver Wallstrom, let's go, let's go. Depth piece is coming in clutch for the Islanders, and the game is even once more. Like how the hell? Where they do that shit at? Where they do that shit at? That's amazing. Bailey. 
How do you miss? I don't know. I don't know. But oh, there's another breakaway. Here come the Islanders. Oh, and a triple deke. What a save, Vasilevsky. No way. No way. Another shot. Another save. Andre. Jesus Christ, bud. You're out here, man. That's unbelievable. Both goaltenders have been scored on, but they've both had some magical saves at the same time. What a feed. Right up the ice. Okay. They're going to go up the ice again because Tampa turned it over. That's that neutral zone trap. Well, not trap. They're not really playing the trap right now. But that's that neutral zone defensive ability that the Islanders have. In the corner, Andersley got hit pretty, pretty harshly. That's not that good. Are they going to go to the right side? Yes, they are. Right to the middle. Oh, it's good. Oh, what a bounce. Tampa takes the lead. It's Steven Stamkos. No way. What a funny bounce that was. Wow. That's an unfortunate bounce for him. But it is what it is, man. You got to control that puck as a goalie. Oof. Oof. And if you give that chance to Steven Stamkos, forget about it. It's a wrap. It's an absolute wrap. What a game. That's what I'm saying, right? This is probably the best game of the series to this point. And we've had a couple of really good games. My goodness. So at the end of two periods of play, Tampa Bay leads 3-2 to two in Game 7. Can they finally put the Islanders away? Or will the Isles complete this comeback? We're about to find out. We're 20 minutes away from finding out. Unless this goes to overtime, of course. But we're close. Team Stammer time. Yes, sir. The goalies in 2K are insane. You got to put their intelligence to 80. doesn't really matter. If there's, like, if you just let two or three one-timers happen, they're going to score. They're going to score. The 2K goalies are not good. Two down, one to go. Third period, they're ready to drop. My playoffs have always happened. VGK versus... What? How the hell did the, does it simulate Vegas to... Oh, conference finals. Okay. That makes sense. My prediction for this game was 4-3 Islanders. Oh, interesting. And now, just like that, the Isles take a penalty. And Tampa has a fresh first unit. Winning it to Hedman. Deflected and stopped by Varlamov. They need to. They need this kill. They need this penalty killer. He is not happy where we're sitting right now. Not happy at all. Here we go with another offensive zone faceoff on this power play. This time it's one to Kucherov, but Kuch can't get a good shot off, and the Isles PK will take control of it and try to get. I don't know why they tried to skate it in. That was a bad play. And Tampa's coming back down the ice, and that could have been a bad bad mistake here, turning into a goal against the Islanders, but Marlamoth bailing him out. Good stuff. Your Sim says Chicago versus Pittsburgh. Oof. NHL is not realistic. Edmonton could actually play hockey there. Well, when we did the, when we, what the fuck, Vasilevsky? <laughs> when we did the simulation for Edmonton and Winnipeg, EA predicted a four nothing sweep for the Jets. So I don't know. I don't know. Maybe the game's a little bit more realistic than y'all give it credit for. Nobody knows. But it looks like they're going to kill off this penalty. Oh, they might not. That's a huge save. Okay. Crisis averted. Game. Still 3-2 to two in favor of the Tampa Bay Lightning. Oh, God. Can they tie it up? Can they tie it up? No, that's a good save.
EA always makes the Oilers so good for a reason. Yeah, you know, it's kind of weird because the Oilers outperform their real life counterpart in a video game, but McDavid McDavid underperforms his real life counterpart in the game. So they're overrating a lot of the secondary players. I feel like EA is scared of giving bottom of the lineup players low overall ratings. They have to revamp that entire system. Because McDavid Oh, the Isles are gonna tie the game. Dannersley from a nice freaking feed across the pond by Jordan Everly. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, what a sauce, dude. Come on, Jordan. Let's go. Still plenty of time left in this frame. You can wow. feel the energy. Chase is back. What up? What up? Welcome back. Game seven. You just showed up as game seven was evened up in the third period. What a game. What a crazy game. Seven. Two chances and a goal. Right back down the ice. Tampa takes the lead again. Oh my god. Eric Cernak. Jesus. Look at this. Look at this. Boom. First save. Great. Second chance. Not a shot for Varlamov. He came out too aggressive to stop that first one. And he could not pick up on the rebound. And he slung that shit to the far side corner. Like, that was a rocket. Top cheddar. Tampa has the lead again. Holy macaroni, that's that's what I'm saying. Unbelievable. 4-3 lead for the Bolts. Watch Everly. Watch Everly tie this game right now. Okay. <laughs> Yo. Yo, it's been that kind of game. It's been that kind of back and forth affair. I thought Everly was about to tie this puppy up. Oh, back in a point. Tampa looking to get a two-goal lead. That slap shot from the point is stopped. You can't blame Varlamov. Man, he's the reason they're here. Cernak is so underrated. IRL facts. Facts. Eichel will soon lead the Sabres, I think. Facts. Series. Facts. It is game seven. We are here at game seven. Carter, we are winner takes all. It was three to one for Tampa Bay. In a series, and then the ga the Islanders just won two consecutive games, and here we are in Game Seven. Slap shot for the point blocked. There's a fight for the loose puck, and Tampa's going to get control of it. That's pretty good. Bolts are trying to gain the zone. Doesn't quite work. That's offside. You can't do that. You cannot precede the puck into the offensive end. It's 1 a.m. here. I'm thinking about going to sleep. But game seven. That's what I'm talking about, man. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, Tampa almost taking a two-goal lead on that play. I appreciate you sticking through, man. If you enjoy the content, by the way, guys, just hit your boy up with a subscribe. You can see some more. And hit your boy up with a like, man. The more likes this gets, the more likely it is I do Vegas Montreal tomorrow before this, uh, this real-life game one. All right? That would be amazing. We can do that. We got to have four points in four playoff games. I don't know who we're talking about. Was that McDavid? Yeah, point game player. That's not bad. That's pretty good. Man scored 100 points in 56 games, so that's pretty fucking ridiculous. So he never plays. To get back to what I was saying, EA is afraid of giving bottom of the lineup players bad ratings they just I feel like they don't really want to go much lower than 79 overall for an NHL player they don't whereas I think I think the entire rating system should be used and the worst players should be you know in the 20s 
in 20 overall. And by, by worst players, I mean, you know, rookies in the QMJHL and, you know, the OHL, stuff like that. I feel like the worst NHL players should probably be like in the in the 60s, maybe maybe even the high 50s, so that there's a clear difference between the performance of someone like McDavid at a 97 and the performance of a fourth liner. I want McDavid to be far and away the best player in the league because that's just what he is. But EA just doesn't want to do it because oh, we gotta we gotta have fair ratings for a bunch of fucking plugs on the fourth line. No, if you're on the fourth line, you should be like a fucking 65 overall. You know, like end of the bench players in 2K are maybe 70 overall. You know, that's that's kind of a, a rating system that I would like to see in uh, Chell. I feel like that would be good. Can have 200 points next year. Still needs to produce in the playoffs. Are we acting like a goal per or a point per game is bad? Is that the argument being made? The rest of the fucking team needs to show up. Is what needs to happen. And they need to have a goalie that doesn't turn into a pumpkin. Whenever things get rough, it's that fucking simple. People are acting like a point per game means he choked. Like imagine that. Imagine if playing at a point per game meant you were playing bad. That's how good McDavid is. People think scoring at an 82-point pace is bad for him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Most NHL players would kill to score that many goals, or that many points. But as we were saying that, Tampa takes that two-goal lead. And here we are at 5-3 in Game 7. The Islanders need... Mucho goals. Well, they only need two, but they don't have a whole lot of time to do it, so it's going to be interesting. Oh, Leafs are pumpkin. No, that's not true. Jason Spezza, William Nylander, Campbell, all those guys showed up. Muzzin showed up for the time he was allowed to play. A lot of guys showed up, just the big guns didn't. That's what happened to the Leafs. Uh oh. Islanders with a chance patted away by Vasilevsky. They need to full send it now. They have five minutes to score two goals. Here we go. Slap shot from the point. Wide of the goal. You got to tune that targeting system a little bit, man. You can't be missing the net. It looks like Tampa might, might just avert the crisis. There's a lot of calamity down in the middle of the ice. Nothing. Nobody can take advantage of it, though. Coach with the puck makes a good breakout pass all the way to the right side. And just like that, Patty Maroon almost got in there, but almost doesn't count. It's going to be a turnover for the Islanders. Oh, that was looking like a really good offensive play, but it stopped at the blue line. And Tampa is re repositioning into the offensive zone. And they, they're they not allowing the Islanders to get any sort of sustained offensive time, which is huge right now for them. They need that offensive time. From the high slot to the point goes Josh Bailey. He then feeds his team at the left. He gets the puck back. Oh, and that was going wide all day long. Back into the corner. Okay. That was a good pass, but they can't do anything with it. Tampa Bay is playing some really good defense here late in game seven. We only have just under two minutes left here for the Islanders. to. Oh, and the Islanders are going to get a chance if they just allow Tampa to touch the puck. I don't know why they're not. Well, they're going to try for the extended power play with less than two minutes left. That was not a good play at all. They should have let the Bolts touch it. But that's going to be a charging penalty for Blake Coleman. Islanders have a huge chance to draw within one here. Sam Sports, what it is, brother. Here we are. Game 7, 5-3 Bolts. Power play for the Islanders. They win the face off. They're pulling their goaltender. They probably should have pulled him at the whistle, but here it is. The shot is going to be wide. Oh, a good play to the middle. Huge stop by Vasilevsky. And they got to keep Varlamov on the bench and just hope they win the face off. That's what they got to do at this point. Getting into the later stages of this period. The Bolts lead by a pair. It's 5 3. Here we go. 
Face off, huge face off win for the Bolts. They're gonna clear it all the way down the ice. 51 says the clock as the Islanders touch up back behind their net. They're going to try and create some offense here off this rush. They're gonna go left side with a decent shot handled by Vasilevsky. He's gonna stop play. We're gonna need to do it again on another face off. You gotta think it's pretty likely that Tampa wins this game seven here. But we'll see. We'll see. It's not over yet. 41 seconds. I've seen it happen. Back at a point. Oh, quick face-off play. That was a huge chance. Another great stop by the big cat. That's what I'm talking about. Matt Martin, noted goal scorer. In there. On this power play. Look at this. Boom. He's the extra? Okay. He's had a good series, but I don't know about Matt Martin being your extra. I don't know about that. Oh, Barzell's in that one-timer slot. If they win the face-off, oh, they might get him a one-timer. They don't even try for it. They take a shot from the point. It's loose out in front, going to the side wall, and they turn it over, trying to go D to D. Tampa almost ends it into the empty net, but now with only 20 seconds left, it's not very likely that the Islanders take this one. They need this goal. They don't get it. Vasilevsky stops play with 14 ticks left, and at this point, it's pretty much over. Tampa Bay is going to win game seven. It was looking pretty scary, man. They had that 3-1 lead. Islanders came back to force game seven. I thought, I thought the Islanders were going to complete the comeback, but Vasilevsky came clutch, came through with some clutch saves, and here we are, man. MVP of the series for Tampa Bay, I think, would have to go to Braden Point. Vasilevsky has really shat the bed at times. I think it would have to go to Braden Point. Well, it doesn't even matter now. They get to clear it down the ice. Five seconds left, and they're going to make the Stanley Cup Finals. Tampa Bay is. With huge jobs in Game 7. Another simulation goals the distance, but EA says Tampa Bay Lightning are going to the Stanley Cup Finals. GG. Very good series. Very fun series, man. That was that was awesome. I think I'm going to do Montreal Vegas tomorrow. Of course, if this got enough support. But I I do thank you for coming out, hanging out with your boy, hitting the likes, hitting the subscribers. Stammer's going to ignore the hell out of this trophy. Yes, sir. You don't want that. That ain't what we want in here. We're going for that Stanley Cup. Yes, sir. 13,341 total subscribers at the end of this series. Thank you all so much. Y'all always support me extremely, extremely well. As we have 175 people watching right now. 260. I mean, God. Y'all are killing it. Y'all absolutely killed it. So, here we are. Game seven, Tampa Bay is going to win it. Five to three, final score. Thank y'all so much for the support on this series again, and I'm probably going to end up doing it tomorrow. All right? All right. Y'all take care of each other. Y'all stay safe. And y'all just be good people, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Thank y'all so much for hanging out. Have a wonderful evening. Peace.